Welcome to Seven Sided Die's Carpathian Adventure. Travel back 700 years to the early 1300s. Castles like this dot the countryside. The Hungarian Empire or Carpathian Empire is at its zenith. The nascent Ottomans are on the rise, but neither Holy nor Roman nor an empire. Holy Roman Empire battles within. England and France fight one another. As the Templars recede into history, the Teutons are on the rise. Welcome to the Carpathian Adventure. This was a great hall. There would have been a roaring fire. It would have been adorned with gothic windows. This might be where our adventuring party might gather. Let's meet them. My name is Virexen. I am a monk who was exiled into Greece after fleeing my homeland. I was sent on a quest via a dream I received. I went in search of great heroes I saw in the dream to help stop some monstrosity from wreaking havoc across the world. I found those heroes in the Champions of the Sun. Now I strive to gain their trust so they can one day help me defeat the vile beast that threatens everything. I am Kip Kaelin, Ranger of the North, and I am lost, hailing all the way from Garen in Scotland. I have faced great tragedy, losing all those dear to me. I am haunted by that fateful night and what was taken from me. I face defeat at every turn, attempting to enact revenge on those that did this to us. And when all my strength, resources, and allies, save for my trusted wolf Lycoa, was depleted, I stumbled upon the Champions of the Sun at the Battle of Sagut. I decided to ally myself with these seemingly capable and worthy adventurers to aid me in putting the lost to rest. It is what she would want, or so she seems to indicate. I am Balder, a Norseman, a soldier, and an eldritch knight. I left my home to leave politics behind, only to be dogged by it across Europe. I first met the Champions of the Sun outside a small town in Hungary. Together, we battled Ottoman raiders and vampires. The Champions gave me purpose again, and where it takes me, I know not, but I know I want to be a part of it. My name is Jumnus Dawnflower. I used to be a merchant sailor until I was shipwrecked on a strange island and killed in a sacrificial blood ritual. In the moment between life and death, an otherworldly goddess of light came to me, offering me a second chance at life if I swore to enact her will upon the world. Now I travel with the champions of the sun, looking to right wrongs, vanquish evil, and earn the new life I've been given. I am Borin, the cave bear. I come from a tribe of barbarians that once lived in the mountains of the Badenweiler. While on my sacred spirit quest, my tribe and family were attacked with none left alive. I now seek the power to avenge my people. With my rage, I grow stronger. And with the champions of the sun, I seek a path to restore and preserve my people's culture and rid this world of any evil that stands in my way. I am Matthias of the House of Bathory, Knight Baron of Carpathia. With my traveling companion, Ambria, I was dragged into a whirlwind path by a rogue monk. But those I have met since then have earned my respect and, more importantly, my trust. Welcome to the Carpathian Adventure. Turn your 
race car off. Welcome, I'm Tom. Thank you for joining us. We're a group of gamers who get together in real life to play Dungeons and Dragons. Some of us are military, one former military joining us tonight. Some are in IT, others retail managers, a few are parents, students, etc. So we do this strictly for fun. We hope you enjoy it nonetheless. There were quite a few thank yous in our open, except one. You. Yeah. <laughs> Ryder, mute your mic. Mute your mic. <laughs> or move it away from your face. Either way. <laughs> we would like to thank you, our Twitch, Instagram, Twitter, so and Facebook followers, as well as our YouTube subscribers. Thank you for joining us. If you have not already, please follow on Twitch, Instagram, and Twitter. Please like on YouTube and Facebook. And of course, please subscribe on YouTube. If during the stream you subscribe follow or, or donate on Twitch, or if you subscribe on YouTube, your username should pop up on the screen. Screen. <laughs> during the stream, some of us are watching Twitch. Please feel free to comment or ask questions. Oh While live, we'll endeavor to answer your questions if they're appropriate questions. What happened the last episode? Is Do you want that? Okay. Because I also have... Or the Carpathian Adventures. I have a, the Stonflower. a I have subscriber a, list if you want to do that. Sure, okay. but let's do the, let's the, do the last okay. open there first. Brad? Pull it up. Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh. Thank you. Hello. Welcome. Hello. On the last episode. Uh, having killed Aladdin Pasha, the party quickly turned their attention towards putting out the raging fires on both ships. While Matias and Jumnus freed the slaves from the hold of the Ottoman galley, the rest of the party attempted to restrain the two remaining mages. Another fight broke out, ending with the death of one mage and the capture of the other. Kip's giant snake held the mage to the mast, and Bornth began to interrogate and torture him. Seeing this happen, Jumnus picked up a scimitar and slew the man out of mercy. There was much disagreement over this. A few days of sailing, the party made their way to a port on the island of Candia, with the intention of freeing the slaves here, but the city was under siege by Venetian mercenaries. Rather than get involved, they turned away and continued towards Blore. Uh, along the way, the party once again encountered Dra Draco Prasimi, a hulking green dragon they met the last time they crossed the Aege uh, Aegean. They parted ways, counting the dragon as a hopeful ally after bartering with food and knowledge, and they sailed onwards. Huzzah! They gave him a horse! <laughs> yes. I remember correctly. We did. Like and we had a discussion regarding horse. a different green dragon, and I realized that uh, another green dragon, and that was a different green dragon. It you had only different. met Prisini once. The dragon that you met at Prusa was actually a different green dragon. Yeah. Oh, it was a different was... mini. I knew it. Yes, it was. was. It <laughs> but I, I didn't this... process it in the my brain mini. at the time. You mean yes, the one... people can't oh, see, okay. but there is actually up there a I did, green I had dragon. I just assumed they were all the same. Ah, oh, they all look like You that. mean the one Gundrick was dragon. fighting? Yes. yes. They're, They're probably all related. There was a green dragon at the yes. Siege of Prusa that no, went streaming dragon. across yes. the the trenches toward the toward the tower, yes. toward yeah. the Monaco's and tower. Gundrick decided that to was a... No, Gundrick tried friend to befriend it, it and, and then fought. <laughs> yes, I think so. Okay. All right, I thought they were just the same dragon. Well, uh, Brad, we're at 126 subscribers. Huzzah! Yes. Great. Good so job. we did say... You guys. Yes, thank you, you got, to all you of our guys. subscribers. And uh, we did say that we would have a t-shirt contest at 100. No. It sometimes <laughs> just takes us a while to get our act together. So, do we have a drawing? Uh, okay, so uh, I have 35 names. Um, I guess the best way to do it would be to, I'm just going to pull up a random number generator sure. and compare and contrast. Uh, because the 35 is a weird number. So the minimum will be 1 and the maximum will be 35. And our number is 20, which is... Ooh. Number 20! Luca Fioretti! Luca Yay. Fioretti! Thank Whoever you, Luca you Fioretti! Whoever you are, wherever well, you are. I'll try to find you on YouTube and get to you. And if you don't respond within two weeks, we're moving on to the next person. You're off the list. That's true. And then, But we do have another drawing in another 26 subscribers. So at 150, we'll give away another t-shirt. And I, your user, not your username, your um, something needs to be public on YouTube so that we can actually... 
Your subscriptions need to be public, or I will not be able to see who you are. Yeah, and that's and then you can make it private right away again. Sure. But if you so desire. <laughs> but we can't, we can't contact you if you're if you're private. That's all there is to it. So welcome back, everybody. Uh, tonight, joining us at the table, Wyland. Uh, something came up. I think he's babysitting a four-year-old or something like that. <laughs> Not quite, but. Or what? What is he babysitting? Uh, uh, yeah, an adult who someone no longer has their wisdom. wisdom, has no wisdom oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's pretty rough. Okay. Uh, I th I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And feeding him soup. <laughs> I'm sorry, Wyland, and your soup feeding <laughs> evening. But Mike, my buddy from high school, who helped me become elected the student council president by turning off the lights on all of the other candidates <laughs> when we were giving speeches, <laughs> and then they were forced to clear the theater, is joining us tonight. He's been my partner in crime, and then he played, uh, when I was running for president, they put the the, um, they put me making a speech on a black and white monitor in the hallway, and behind it they put the sound of of the Zeppelin field with with noise that was not very politically correct by today's standards. I think they put Adolf Hitler yelling <laughs> yelling at the crowd with me. <laughs> <laughs> waving my arms. I knew it. I did get elected. <laughs> okay. Surprisingly. I don't know how. I got elected. But Mike, thank you for joining us. The Raid Italia. There are some things that were going on in the last four days while you were out at sea, correct? Uh, what are those things? You wanted to do some things, right, Brad? Uh, yeah. Well, let's talk to Bornth, but he gone, so... Uh, the the next thing I wanted to do he's gone. was oh, yeah, clearly. Um, well, he's coming, isn't he? Yeah, he's coming. He's oh, just okay. not here right now. I guess stop like wanting to do like wanting to talk to Point at the beginning of sessions. It happens all the time. <laughs> this is accurate. And like he's just never here on time. So the guy that's uh, always like I'll I do the intro. I am going to approach Mattias. Boulder can pretend to be on Boulder. the boat. Now uh, say, Mattias. Hello. Hello. Um, how? how is there how, something? Yes, there is what? something I would like to ask of you. Uh, you, you're a trained uh, swordsman, um, well practiced in the arts. I am. Um, I like to think I am, anyway. I mean, I've seen you. I fought alongside you. You're very capable. Um, I was wondering uh, if you'd be able to. Um, uh, give me lessons, so to speak. Lessons? In swordplay? Yeah. Yes. Lessons in swordplay. Um, just in, you, you are... know, in our downtime. Hmm. I have to say, I didn't expect that. Uh, I mean, I suppose I, I suppose it couldn't hurt. After all, uh, we do seem to be getting into, into situations where... The enemy is up close with us far more often than, than is ideal. That is true. I just, um... Uh... I think a sword, a sword can be quick and, um... Uh, relatively uh, humane compared to uh, some of the other weapons I've wielded. Um... So, uh... Yeah. I don't know. Hmm. Whenever it's good for you, really. It's not... Well, <laughs> as of right now, I think that we've all got free time. I'm open whenever you are, I think. Cool. Uh, so, until Born arrives, I will, I'll be practicing some sort of... <coughs> some okay! Sort of, some I'll be in the courtyard whenever you're ready. On the raid to Italia, <laughs> as you're sailing toward Loire, the, you had, guys had four days, you can start working away and manipulating the sword is probably not that different from wielding a mace, but you're swinging with trying to concentrate on once and what little I know. He probably knows more, having been a fencer, but, uh, and saber at that. Mm -hmm. But, um, at, so just so that I know as the DM, your goal is to learn to use a scimitar? Specifically is that the scimitar, yeah. Okay, I understood. No... So it's going to take a little practice, but you are well underway yeah, in, I don't, in doing so. Personally, I, I'd imagine it would take months to become... 
pr- months of uh, practice to become proficient. I understand. Uh, take him with a point then. Yeah, right? And not a scimitar. It's, uh, it's more. I think a well, scimitar is more of a more slashing, slashing weapon. Yeah. Not that I, I don't know much. I mean, a rapier is a more of a pointy yeah. weapon, yeah. I think. Sure. It's a good thing um, Matthias is teaching. This is true. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's good. Uh, He's got the arrow. Stick him with the pointy end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it worked well for me. That's what he does the first day at the distance. Ah, whatever. <laughs> well, a little bit of practice either way would be helpful, I think. Um, that night. Uh, I'd like to send a message to Simonita. Okay. And I'd say, um, uh, Simonita, it's Jonas. We're about <laughs> four days uh, out from glory. Uh, it's Jonas. <laughs> How goes things with you? Here he goes Where again. Are talking you? To his, talking are you himself. safe? And so on. And that's it. Good. <laughs> What's up, guys? Hello. <laughs> Hello. How are you? What's going on? Uh, you hear from Simonita. Okay. She says, Jumnus. We're in Vlore. Uh, Charlie is good. I always look forward to your messages. We miss you. Um, uh, if it weren't for Ambriel, I... <laughs> the message cuts off. What'd you uh, say? <laughs> you knew it. I mean, I knew it was gonna happen. This always happens. Um... <laughs> No. When are you going to teach her how that spell works? Yeah. <laughs> I have. I have multiple times. <laughs> she got to learn how to count. But none of us, none of us have been able, I mean, I can't use it right either. Uh, okay, so. Uh, so, Anita, it's Jonas. You cut out okay. there. If it weren't for Unreal, what would happen? Question mark? A few moments later, you hear from her. A gymnast, if it weren't for Ambriel, we would probably be Ottoman slaves. The horrors we have seen. We found... And the message cuts off. It's at and <laughs> <laughs> What have you found? Uh, we're we're in... Jamas. We're in the city. We're not. No. We're on the he, way he, there. We kind of retconned. I oh yeah. I, I had a couple things I wanted to do beforehand. Okay. I forgot about. This was one. Okay. I got to talk to you, but you weren't here. For... Uh, but I almost threw out these notes. What? What? I almost what? He almost threw out the notes. <laughs> <laughs> threw out threw out the notes because oh. he wouldn't have needed them. If I hadn't done this. Oh, okay. That's a joke. That's a joke. Oh, okay. uh, so that was your message? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Just trying to get to the next thing. <laughs> right, Jumnus, we found a tavern near the docks called the, called the uh, Pubi Mimi Ray. Theodora works here, and she's helping us, but we should pay. So we need to run. Run north and don't stop. Uh, hold on. There was valuable information <coughs> there. What was the name of the tavern? The Pooby. The pub. Remember, the Pooby. Uh, Pooby me 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 or a... The Pooby poop Pooby poop poop what? <laughs> Can you spell it? <laughs> What's this name? Uh, yes. P, capital P, okay. lowercase u, B, I, space, okay. M, E, uh, two dots over the E. The unlock. Lower space, yeah, lowercase right. I. Space M I R. Don't forget the two dots. E. Pubi Mimia or A. What does that mean? Wait, uh, were you asking? M E. You, I'm asking space oh, M I. I'm sure it's very interesting. M E space M I? P U B I space M E. With the unlocks. Space. Space. Lowercase I. Space. 
lowercase M-I-R-E. Okay, and that's, that's she said that's a pub? And who, who works there? Meyer. Who works there? The movie. <laughs> um, she said Theodora. Theodora. Uh, okay. All right. I got some spells left. What does that burn. mean? What does the name of the pub mean? Does, does he Tom? tell you the name? Google. I'm asking Tom. Just want to know. What did Oprah say mean? We got Google Translate. Best pub. The best pub in town. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's not it at all. No, it's definitely not that. Hey guys, let's go to the best pub in town. Um, <laughs> I mean, who be? Uh, hey, tell me, where's uh, the best Theodora. pub in town? <laughs> this works. Theodora this works. works there. Uh, oh no. <laughs> best pub in town. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they'll say. I don't think that's what it <laughs> translates to. And maybe it does. You speak Albanian. You're fluent in Albanian. Huh? I'm not. <laughs> I'm fluent in Tom, Tom's naming conventions for pubs, <laughs> and they're never that. Um, uh, okay. Okay. What do you... What do you need to pay? Pay what? What are you talking about? What's going on here? Uh, the movement. Jumpness, we should pay Theodora before we depart. I believe she's paying for our room and board out of her own pocket. Uh, we're okay. Tell her... Uh, friends will be coming and will pay all of your expenses. Keep your head down and try to stay off the streets. It. She says, Chemnus, I think we're safe here. Okay, I'm done. I'm done talking to her. Well, it stay, the phone line stays open until she finishes the 25 boop, words. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> That's not how it works. You can just stop. You just, you just hear her talking to other people. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's like a butt call. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, this guy's so annoying. He won't leave me alone. <laughs> this is like the seventh spell he's wasted on me. <laughs> he's so controlling. <laughs> when he texts me, he wants me to respond immediately. I can't do this. <laughs> Alright, it's the story of my life. <laughs> so, there's nothing wrong with 48 hours later, right? <laughs> Man, <laughs> look, man, it's the 14th century, yes, and yes, we've got right. magic. You're right. I'm, so, I'm just used to instant, yeah, right. instant <laughs> gratification. Okay, okay. You know. Yeah, totally. Good. Yeah. Um. And then, for and my then. last trick, I am going to approach Borinth, oh. and I'm going to say to Borinth, incense, 500 gold worth. Four ivory strips worth fifty gold apiece. Is this like code or something? No. What are you? Uh, what are you talking about? Do you want answers about the amulet? Oh, the amulet. The amulet. Okay. So this is what you need to get. Me. You need incense. Five hundred gold worth of incense. Okay. And four ivory strips, each worth fifty <laughs> gold pieces. Okay. Commune. All right. So we gotta get some incense. We gotta kill some animals. You just buy them oh, already. Oh, right, right. Either right. way. Either way. Okay. All right. We're at this point. We're we're growing in strength, Warrenth. We we have other other means of obtaining information than just smashing things and torturing people. Okay, it was, it was so much easier. We would have had it so much faster. We would have had nothing. So much cheaper. Uh, we would have had nothing at all. <laughs> we have, I mean, we, we, we don't have nothing. The, the man that you tortured had no more information than we do. But then we did already. No, I don't know about that. Well, I disagree with that. What, what, what did we learn? We learned that it has more value than we initially thought it did. We knew this when he sent a mage to, to procure it from us. We didn't need to torture anyone. That was apparent immediately. Mm, maybe. No, definitely. We learned something else. We, we didn't learn, learn anything else. else. We learned nothing <laughs> else. <laughs> we, learned that, we learned it does a lot more than we thought it did. Which yeah. we were able to garner Listen, because... You're very smart. We're not. 
very wise. Yeah, you're wise. And I'm, I'm average intelligence. I am smart. <laughs> I'm really dumb. So you you are smart enough to know that I'm right. I need to read it in a book. I don't think you're right. I don't think he deserved any, uh, I don't think he deserved at all a nice easy death. <laughs> he deserved he did not deserve to live. But I don't think anyone deserved torture. I, I We've definitely disagree. found that it's not replaceable. Yes, that we did find out. Oh, look, get me those things. And um It's on me to get these things for you? You're the one who's complaining that I ruined our chance to get answers. <coughs> you want the answers so bad, that's what you need to get me. I mean, I didn't complain that long about it. You, you <laughs> actually you <laughs> made a real you made a big can, stink about can it. I, well, because I, I was get having you fun. Half of the things. <laughs> yeah. We'll get to we'll get to stuff. If, if everybody wants to know fun torturing if people, everybody if wants to know well, yes. problems born. You know what I'm saying. I think you need to join me in a prayer session later. I'm not joining. So I think you need to. Uh, I definitely also think you should throw that book into the sea. That book is my book. Mm. And I'll do with it as I choose. That's to fine. It should just go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm sure really control. a lot of us are carrying around <laughs> some baggage <laughs> that they should probably get rid of. Kids. All right. I'm like what? I feel like you're. you're <laughs> I feel like you're being really cryptic. <laughs> I think a lot of us have have just in general baggage. Are you yeah, talking about possibly. a specific thing I've got? Uh, possibly. Do you want to tell me? What it is? I don't know. Considering the fact we're going to save your nun girlfriend, right. who um, also happens to be not my married to a king. I'm or yeah. An emperor. Well, that's, there's she. She lived a terrible, horrible life with this man. Okay. He, he and we're all going her. into this city. <laughs> We're all going to find her and put our necks on the line no, for her, so no. everybody has their own baggage. We're, we're going willing. there to drop off that little boy we that willing. nobody has said a single word to this entire yeah, trip. That's a whole other story. <laughs> that's why we're going. That's the reason we're going. Right. That's the hey, only thing. But He's doing fine. Otis you care. know that when you want to go and find Simonita, that we have your back and we're going to go with you. That's your baggage. I'm fine with letting her go. I have nothing to do with that. But we're going to go with you, no matter what. That's your baggage, and we're willing to accept that. The rest of us all have baggage. I mean, the, the quiet guy sees dead people. I mean, come on. Yeah, he's well, yeah. We're trying to get him to open up. You know, I know that. Just saying. He sees dead people. He's got baggage, too. Well, yeah, but I think I mean, Bald is all of us should eyeballs. be able to handle our baggage in an eyeballs. open community. <laughs> yeah. He's um, got baggage, too, but yet... I still got his back. <laughs> I'll take him to any pub in this city. The city. I, well, we I think there. we need to draw lines. I think rescuing okay. a, a girl from an, from a, a, a very, very uh, unsavory character is a little bit different than prying eyeballs from corpses or seeing dead people, or possibly being corrupted by uh, a, a sinister faith. Maybe. During this conversation, we are I, really messed up. I think. <laughs> I, I like to think point. that that. That's my point. I, I ripped the guy's ear off. That, big deal. That's a, that is a big deal. <laughs> that really. is a big deal. And I think we should do it all of these <laughs> things. Really Maybe off. the eyeballs thing is. I mean, they're already dead, so that's fine. Once he starts killing people I mean, to get to the eyeballs, <laughs> then we have an issue. I mean, I don't know. I'm I, just saying. I understand. I know exactly look, what you're saying. I spoke. Give me some time, more time with the book. Okay. You give me some more time with the book. I just. If you want to be a friend, you help me understand the book. <laughs> and then we'll figure it out. Meanwhile, I'm on deck trying to show George right. how to pull eyeballs out of people. <laughs> yeah. I'm right. giving him a little spoon. I, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to Make sure part with it them. if it's, it's like not going to be what's best for me. Okay. And it's not going to be what's best for all of us. <laughs> but I need to understand it first. Okay. All right. All right? Sure. And I take no pleasure in torturing and hurting anybody. But I'm also done with taking chances. Yeah. And I will go the extreme in order to get the information that we need. Immediately. If you torture them, you're giving them more of a chance to escape. If you kill them right away, they can escape. You're actually taking less of a risk. Perhaps this time, but what about the next time? I mean, there's there's always a possibility that we can get some more information. I think we can't rely so much on killing them and then trying to get them to talk to us. Oh, well, I'm not saying that. There's other ways also. Okay. I, I have been okay. shown many, many, okay. many gifts from... We will all act um, in a moment. We will all act 
All right. What we think is best. Cool. Well, let's maybe tone, just tone it down and like cutting ears off. I mean, it was ex- <laughs> his ears were accessible. I mean, you know. <laughs> I, I think you cut his toes off. I think that was that was yeah. that was even worse. Really. Yeah. Well, I didn't want him to run away. <laughs> Good talk, Born. Good talk. Also, you need. You know what? You've been slacking on the ship work. So here. one toe at a time. Get on them ropes. Get on them ropes. Ridiculous. I I, the last time we talked, you were lounging. I've been lightening the load lounging. of these barrels. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, look. The ship is vastly lighter because I have consumed what was inside all of those barrels. I can't, I can't speed. argue with this, but I think you should multi multitask. <laughs> Get back on them ropes. And then I go do ship stuff. I'm gonna walk by Baller and be like, why did Jamas get so bossy? We need to get uh, off the ocean. I don't know. Time it's like to the change salt them. air or something makes him just. He complains a lot. He does. My so, mother complains less than that. So, so I have a bag full of eyeballs. I mean, he's always got to want They're your eyeball. eyeballs. <laughs> I would never ask you to get rid of them. There you go. That's all I want, a little support. I'm gonna walk up and say, speaking of eyeballs, if you want me to put this eyeball... What is it with people collecting trophies from corpses Yes! If, uh... Borinth, he's ready. He's ready. If you want me to wear this eyeball... I'll hold him down. He's ready. Um, I will do it. Okay, let's do this. Alright. Um, are you gonna go can we have again or no? Jumnus on hand for any No, he's just gonna want to take it away from you and tell you that it's dangerous, that it's evil. That there's something wrong with it. He's just, you know, we well, got you. We got you. I mean, we know it's not cursed. Balder, I'll hold him down. You jam it in. <laughs> we, we, we can yell for it. If you yeah. Know. We, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We know it's not cursed. Yes. And we know that Ghazi cannot see. Yep. Yeah, let me see. It. Two fears. Let me see that ball. Let me see it. It's okay. And, uh, it's fine. Don't worry about it, Kip. I'll put, I'll put this in. No, I'll take care of it for you. In a minute. It's not ready yet. <laughs> in a minute. <laughs> in a minute. <laughs> and I will walk away <laughs> with the eyeball. Um, and I will go to a... He takes the fun out of everything. Yeah. Why'd you even give it to him? He takes all the fun uh, out of everything. I hope it comes back. I hope it's cross on. <laughs> give him a chance. <laughs> give him a chance. <laughs> Smack it around a little bit. Give him a chance. Yes. Uh, I don't think forcing it in his head is yeah. the right way to go. Uh, I'm gonna, think, let him let him sit on it. He'll, he'll, he'll do it. Does the eyeball look like really go. gross and nasty? Or is it like a... Like what? Is it... Um, spit what's on it made of? Like, it. is it... Glass. Glass. Okay. So... Has it been relatively cleaned? Probably not sterilized. I think you guys cleaned it. I did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You should, um, you should urinate on it, disinfect it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so uh, I will. Um, it would work. I'll put it underneath <laughs> my eye patch in, uh, in my socket, and I will flip the eye patch up and see what I see through it. Does um, it hurt really bad? Probably. You need somebody to hold them down? <laughs> it, at first, it's somewhat disconcerting because of a uh, image disparity, if you will. Yeah. One eye sees, well, you had clear vision. The other eye seems exponentially clearer, and it can almost seem as if it can, if you focused on it, which you're having trouble doing, Yeah. it almost as if it could like zoom in on something. And you see, information in it that doesn't, it's, it's just like a little bit overwhelming at the moment because it's just, you can't process it mentally, all of it instantaneously. But as the ship moves and rocks, there's a, a line that seems to say, stay relatively stable with the horizon mm-hmm. as the ship seems to move back and forth. There's a, a small barb, if you will, with a triangle above it that seems to be indicating almost a direction of travel and it seems to shift ever so slightly and expand and contract. And if I turn a little... And if you turn across the top, you see a series of indications, and you quickly figure out one's north, and one's south, one's east and west, and there are variations in between the others as well. The chevron that we had mentioned once before is not there at the moment. Okay. But your, your brain... Better, I'll just like turn in a circle very slowly so I don't 
It's very it's disconcerting. It's almost like you're, you're about to fall over at one yeah. point because you're, it's like taking a, a spyglass, putting it up to your eyeball, and closing it. your other one and trying to m walk around with it for a moment mm -hmm. until you get used to it. It's going to... It, it's a little bit disconcerting. Okay. What's it like if I put the patch down? Do I see anything, or is it dark? It goes dark, but the data is still there. Interesting. Is it like Iron Man look, or is it like, like just... <laughs> I don't like, know what Iron what, Man looked like. What, what color would I... Giant like these lines? The data? Like, yeah. The, it's yeah, they're slightly greenish. Okay. Like a navigator's phone. Okay. Yeah. Kips, you do it? It's the fallout HUD. Hey, Kips, you put it in yet? Uh, and I'll... I'll uh, yeah, what's it look like from the front? I'm gonna walk out and just, you know, uh, uh, the eye patch is up, and I'll say that I did it. And, uh, You're a little see. crooked. You're, <laughs> yeah. Let me, uh, let me give you a little, give you a little tap on the side of the head. Like, <laughs> train it up, and give you a little shake. Is it's it, in is there. It, is it moving? Oh, it's good. Does, do they see it move? Yeah. Okay, we want, we want to try it out. Does it move like my, like with my other eye, or is it yes. just moving on its own? Okay. I got an idea. I got an idea. Get your bow, right? I'll be right back. All right, just get your bow. Okay. Get ready. All right, I'm gonna run down to the galley. I'm gonna grab a whole bunch of plates. <laughs> like a stack of plates. All right, I'm gonna come out on deck. I'm like, you got your bow. Let's make this exciting and put one in your mouth. I'm gonna throw one and hit him right in the face with it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but I'm gonna put two eyes to see that coming. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna put all the plates down. All right, you got your bow. Okay. All right. I'm gonna throw it in the air, and you're gonna hit it and see if it makes a difference. Okay. All right. Yeah. You ready? Do you it. Tell me when. And I'll knock an arrow and get ready. You gonna tell me when to throw it? Pull. <laughs> throw it in the air. Okay. Throw it out over the ocean. Like throw it out. Roll a roll to hit and say for the sake of argument, you need a twenty. Okay. Tell me what your total score is. Why do you use the saucers? You want to use the full dinner plates? Well, it's gonna start big. <laughs> I have, don't worry, I have a whole yeah, array. The sauce was the little one. Uh, yeah, it's a 24. Person. So you win. You hit it? I hit it. Did it feel easier? Um, it was no different. <laughs> okay, let's try again. I'm going to take a smaller plate this time. Small, sure. small one. You got right. 25 to hit. Okay. All right, I'm going to go. You ready? Go. It's not what you're supposed to say. Pull. All right. <laughs> 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 uh, that's 25. <laughs> You hit? It's the eye. It's the eye. It, no. it felt like it was slightly more solid yeah? than it should have been. What was more solid? The hit. Oh, the hit. Okay. Mm. Oh, okay, now we're ready to try this. Now close your eyes. So I'm going to pull, see if you can hit. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Alright, I'm going to close my no, eyes. No, close your eye. You're not closing it. Oh. It's not closing. There. <laughs> Alright, I'm ready. The small right. plate. Small ready? Plate. Yeah. Pull. Throw it in the air. Uh, that's 20. You misses. Why are you closing your eyes? It's when you roll it. It was like real life. So I wanted to see if he could hit his target in dark okay, so with that eye. So he still needs to be looking. Oh, is he just closing one of his no, eyes? No, that's not how that would work. Then. No, no, because no, you said you could see the, the, yeah. the still things and you can... Okay, so okay, let's try this time, this time, this time. Really Boy, think about... closing the good hey, eye work? Trust me, wait, no, trust me, trust me. Okay, really think about this plate. Concentrate on this plate. Okay, concentrate. Okay. Like really, really. This is the most important plate in the world. Roll this is everything twenty. Okay. Uh, and add your uh, eighteen. Okay. Uh, Chevron starts to appear in the display. No. Okay. 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 Now close your eyes again. Right. Thinking about it. Don't forget about this plate. Close my eyes. And stare at the chevron. Yes. Well, you would have to put down. If, to achieve what you're trying to do, if I understand correctly. Yeah, put the patch look down. Look at the data, you'd have to put the patch down, close the right eye, and just look at the data. Does that make yes. sense? Okay, yeah, so, oh, I got it. That makes sense. So I'll flip the patch down, mm -hmm. and I will close my Okay, you eye. still see the chevron. It's not very clear, but it's there. Okay, okay and I'll ready? focus on the chevron. Okay. Okay. Roll to hit. Uh, pull. Throw it in the air. Uh, that's a 13. 13, and that's with all your bonuses? Uh, well, just to hit, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, you still missed. Okay, I missed. Okay. But you were able to okay. have an idea. But the chevron moved. Yes. So I, okay. at this point, I can deduce that the chevron is. It seems that by focusing, you're right. It seems that by. I thought you said you weren't smart. I have no idea what you're talking about right now. Yeah. I just wanted to see if you could really hit the thing when I threw it over. If you really concentrated on. Well, you know about the chevron, right? Yeah. So I'll tell you. It seems that 
if I focus on something, um, the, mm -hmm. the chevron in the eye can pinpoint the mm -hmm. direction of where that is. You were from, able to move it? I was, I was um, able to, when he threw different. the plate, the chevron moved oh. and followed. Oh. Now that the plate's destroyed, I mean, is the whenever chevron I really want to like hit something, I just think about it a lot. <laughs> I see. And, this yeah. could be pretty interesting. This could be interesting. Okay. Yeah, Sounds like indeed. you're using the targeting system in an Apache helicopter. <laughs> Why would Todd do that? That's weird. <laughs> Where'd that come from? <laughs> Am I right, Tom? On the screen, <laughs> Yep. No, Except just, minus, just, uh, minus the beeping. Just some of the... Beep, 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 beep. Okay. <sighs> so that, that, uh, that's good, see? Just cover it when you're not yeah. using it, because it looks kind of weird. Yeah, it, it feels yeah. really weird. Yeah. It's like one of those... I mean, I lied to you before when I said it looked good. It doesn't look good yeah, at all. No, it, yeah. it feels weird. It moves a little bit Can you zoom? It doesn't actually out. follow his other eye. Yeah, it doesn't. It, it, it like doesn't, gives yeah. away all his intentions. It almost, it it looks, it almost like looks like oh. your eye is floating in a bowl of water. <laughs> it's just, you Tom, is there... Uh, no, like a compass. Yeah, it's, it's like, like a, floating in there. Yeah. Would I know how to get Jump up and down. It's got like the... Like if I think about... The anti-shake levels, it doesn't move. It's got like the anti-shake. It just kind of floats. You I think you're going to need some help figuring out all of the properties. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Hey, well, maybe in town we can Earth. find somebody like that, that can identify it okay. a little bit better. Yeah. Like a doctor <laughs> or something. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Do you know about eyeballs? <laughs> That's for you. There's one person I know me. Yep. who knows more about Do eyeballs you know? than anyone else. <laughs> yeah. You gotta go to you gotta go to ball. I happen to know an eyeball expert. <laughs> Let's go talk to my friend. Let's go talk to my friend. Eyeballs. Have you met Balder? I'll re I'll repaint his glass eye for him. <laughs> so it matches. Oh, it matches. His other, now it matches his other eye. There you go. So, are you doing anything else on your voyage? Uh, that wasn't are, enough. Are we no, I, I'm are not we trying to. What is it like? Right you now have four show? days. We have four days. Ooh. Oh. Um, I want to consult the book each of those evenings. Just look through that book that I have. Okay. I will. Evening, just... I will check with Oda see if she made any progress on the. On this. Oh yeah, that's right. Oda was working on that. Um, whatever she does with it. <laughs> she had identified, didn't she? Identified or, She's on YouTube. Um, well, yeah, we were seeing if she could or try it. Yeah. Um, do you, when you do the book, wh what do you do? Tell me, describe to me what you do. Um, I'm just kind of flipping through it, just trying to look for clues in the, the images that I see, because I see just ripping pages out. Anything that I Tell recognize. me something! Anything that comes any clearer to me. Jonas, he still doesn't know how um, books work. <laughs> yeah, we, we saw that. Okay. Yeah. Who's around you? Um, I'm always kind of doing it in isolation. I'm, I'm waiting to the evening when it's dark, and, I want, and nobody's really around me, especially Jonas. That's, that's good. Anyone looking on would be very confused. He really doesn't know how to read a book. <laughs> Um, roll a d20. Eighteen. I feel like I have the ocean next to me. <laughs> then I realize that it's just, <laughs> it's, it's just Mattias' breathing. <laughs> Apparently, I have very loud breaths. Clearly, yes, certainly. Just move the mic a little bit. Yeah. Little and, bit or there's something called, like, push the talk, maybe. Or, <laughs> I don't know. That sounds like a great invention. Maybe, maybe both. <laughs> Using the moonlight to see the book. <laughs> If there's a thunderstorm, that'd be up even uh, cooler. Perch. Oh, the book. Ah, the book. Oh, oh, yeah. you must not read from the book. <laughs> Someone comes out of it and warns him. <laughs> it's the dude from the movie. <laughs> the guy in Jurassic Park. Mummy <laughs> 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 Four and 
What? What are you trying to tell me? You're four, you're many days out at sea, and you're all alone looking at the book. And you see the images, and it's hard to process exactly what they mean to you. It's hard to process what they mean in general. But, but as you stare at it longer, and I have a sense, I'm going to go out on a limb here, it's, you're looking for meaning, you're trying to find mm -hmm. something, and your brain is telling you, and as you do so, all of a sudden, ah, ah, ah. Lassie. <laughs> what are you doing out here? Ray. Lassie? Lassie. Lassie. Ah! Perfect. Perfect. A dead bird. <laughs> <laughs> Lands on the book. Oh, there. <laughs> a raven comes and lands and poops and flies away. Who are you? <laughs> and stares. And it just sort of looks at you. Slowly open Roll all a raven. perception check. <laughs> <It> just runs. <laughs> Pretty far out. What is this? Mean? For a raven. <laughs> a raven. A raven. A raven. For a raven. That's a two. <laughs> um, and the raven just <laughs> looks at you. You're far out, see. Where did you come from? And it's dead. I like, just I like how authentic his dice are to being a barbarian. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, and every time I have a perception, I'm rolling this. a three. <laughs> He's attuned. I'm gonna reach out I'm gonna reach out to him just a little. I'll reach out to the raven just a little bit. I'm not gonna touch him. Put my hand out. And he doesn't seem afraid. He or she doesn't seem afraid. Or it. Why are you here? Why did you come to me? The raven seems to turn toward the book. What do you know about this book? I can't believe I'm talking to a raven. <laughs> Why are you here? It seems to just look at the book. I'll look at the book with him. <laughs> it's still very challenging to understand. After a short while, the raven seems almost to nod to you and then depart. Makes some sense to me. Is there any sign or anything in in the images I see of a raven? Anything that you flip a couple pages and you see two ravens. Okay. I know that the ravens. I know that Bar uh, Barbarossa. Lies beneath the mountain with the ravens. Pirates of the Caribbean. I know this. But that still doesn't tell me what the book is trying to tell me. I close the book. I yell out, Baldur, you better not be messing with me with your raven. I don't know if book. I'm asleep or what. Yeah, but. that's all. I'm just going <laughs> to yell it out and just put the book back in my bag. Kind of wake up what? <laughs> okay. Is anyone else doing anything? Yes. Go ahead. Periodically, or just every night uh, until we get there, I'm going to be checking in with Simonita uh, to see, make sure she's fine, safe, and in the same place, and see if there's any changes. Um... She seems, and with, unless you ask something specific, she seems uh, like she's ensconced someplace and, okay. and waiting. 
Yeah. Yeah, as long as nothing has changed, I wouldn't, I, you know, I wouldn't be asking anyone in particular. Just making sure the status has remained quo, so to speak. Okay. Anyone else? Close to shore. So we must be getting close to shore. Um, I got a question. The kid that we're delivering, the son of Irene. Demetrius. Demetrius. Does he have a guardian? Demetrius, you said? Demetrius. Demetrius. Does he have a guardian with him or anything? No. You are, are the it. guardians. Oh, we are the guardians. We are the guardians. The guardians of the Demetrius. Guardian of the sun. <laughs> he comes up onto <laughs> the deck. <laughs> the champions. Yeah, I want to talk to him real quick. Hi, Guardians how are you? Son uh, of... Kid, get over here. Get over here. Come over here. Yes. Do you know where you're going right now? Green. Yes, I'm going to be the heir to Serbia. Okay, do you know that this guy is going to be in control of you? You're going to answer to him? That he um, is going to raise you like his own? Or... Well, we'll see. Uh, you know what's involved well, in that. That's the hope. That's what my mother wants. That's what your mother wants. What do you want? Yes, that sounds good. Okay. <laughs> Which means anything this guy says and does, you're going to do for him. This is your new life. This is going to be your new life. You're, you're aware of this. You make it sound like it's something bad. It, maybe. Maybe not. I only think it's fair that somebody tells you that it may not be everything you think it's going to be. What's it going to be? Uh, I mean, it could be great, right? Or there could be a lot of rules. There could be uh, danger. Rules aren't necessarily bad. You're not here. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, we're all here now. Rules are bad. Um, nah, dude, I'm up on the road. There, there, there may, there may be danger. <laughs> <laughs> Teleported out of here. It could be dangerous. There could be a lot asked of you. Have you ever thought that if you become the heir, that there's going to be millions of people that look to you for answers? Do you understand how important that is? That's what I was raised to do. You were raised to do that? Well, born. Okay. Do you understand... <laughs> How much weight that, that that holds? I just want to make sure that somebody has given you. Lawrence, do you understand how much weight that holds? I do. <laughs> Maybe I understand not. How much? I've seen. Will you help me? <laughs> it's not my place to help you. I'm helping you right now. I'm helping you right now <laughs> by making sure that you understand what lies ahead of you. If and I if say no, is... what are my choices? You could do anything. You can go anywhere. What could it? <laughs> I don't think it quite works that way for. You could be anything you want. For be. him, can be anything you want to be. How old are you, kid? A ten. Ten years old. Yes. By thirteen, I was already fighting in wars and battles. I could do that. Oh, can you? Well. <laughs> Maybe not as well. Okay. Well, that's a good thing to know. That's a good skill to have in a man. Especially a man that's going to be expected to lead. What kind of a leader are you going to be? Have you ever thought about that? Are you going to be a, you going to be a, a kind leader? Are you going to take care of your people? Good and kind, yes. Okay. What if people around you don't want you to be good and kind? What if they want you to be harsh? What if they want you to... Just create more wealth. Well, get it. What are my, you going to do about that? Mother said you need good counselors, but it wouldn't be on my shoulders right away. Well, maybe it will be. You don't know that. I well, just want you to understand. Maybe if you all could be my counselors. Maybe. Maybe we could be. I would be honored to be. I want you to look around you. You're surrounded by brave warriors here. And they're all good men. 
Sometimes good men have to do horrible things. I walk over and throw up over the side of the ship. <laughs> he drinks way too much. <laughs> I'm still tipsy from when I was dizzy before. Um, Seasick. The eye. But these Scott, are good men. They're, good. they're brave warriors. <laughs> but they're all kind people. And we have sacrificed our lives here for the, for the good and for the betterment of all people. I'm good. Just learn that lesson. And I hope that one day when you're ruler and you're the leader, that you'll remember that. I hope so. I hope so, too. I will try. In, in a few days' time, you're going to meet this man for the first time. And I want you to know that we haven't known you long. We've taken you here. We're somewhat responsible for getting you to this point. That if there's anything that we can do, perhaps in the future that I'd like to think that we could help you. Well, that means a lot. Okay. Now go do some work. Go. Jump. Yes. Find well, something for him to do. Go. Scrub the deck. Do some work. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with getting your hands dirty. No, of course not. All right. I, I might have gotten some over here. Scrub it up. <laughs> he scurries off. Land ho! Glory, right there. <laughs> I see it. Oh, she's just like jumping between ropes all up there. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. pulling things, jumping down. Oh, I gotta do this. Hold on. Let me get over there. Oh, oh no. Oh, okay. The only one sailing the ship. <laughs> just, I'm doing everything. She's like, God, could jump back on the ropes. Jump back on the ropes. Every night. Back on the ropes. Oh, no. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. A little too much there. Yeah. Every now and then you gotta come down and check on the wheel. Yeah. Yeah. Your foot. I've got it set up to where everything I need to do, I can just like control everything from <laughs> it's up like top. hanging in the. Sh- I've got like ropes rigged up to the 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 the. Uh, what is that? The steering wheel. The rudder. Word for that? Oh, the, the steering wheel. The helm. The helm. Yeah, I guess the helm. <laughs> okay, barring you doing something else, the raid Italia sails into the Bay of Loire, or Valore, a natural harbor. And port. The last rays of daylight, as you do sail in, disappear beyond the horizon. Even having just arrived, the heady smell of olives is ever present. Oh, I thought that was Kip. <laughs> it might have been. Been to this city before, Jamas? Once. Right. That I remember, anyway. Bologna. Mm, it's a s- oh. different spelling of the same word. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we've been here. Um, so, uh, I think Boulder, Boulder was with us, uh, Reiner. Uh, yeah. Refresh my memory, Jamas. Uh, this was where we. Oh, this is where we ran into um, Stefan Dekonski, where uh, we went to that masquerade party. Oh. You remember that? I remember that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that yeah. was interesting. <laughs> that was very interesting. Um, well, here, let's go into town. Let's get our, ourselves situated first before we drop the boy off. Yep. Um, I've heard of a great, a great bar. I think it might. I don't know if it, it was this, the same place we stayed last time. The Pubi Mi I Mire. The Pubi Mi Mire. The best. <laughs> All right. You remember? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's like the best bar in town, right? Yes. That's what I've heard. <laughs> oh, sure, sounds like it. They, they had <laughs> a lot easier than that other name. I'm that still. You just I had. still remember their ale. Right. So, so uh, I, I've heard stories. <laughs> I guess of the we, best uh, bar in town. we we have um, <laughs> we walk in and say congratulations. <laughs> there's like a, there's like tea wow. shirt. I drank at the best bar wow, in town. You guys should be so proud. We ask around and we head to the best bar in town. 
I, okay. Where you ask, hey, where's the best bar in town? <laughs> yeah. And they all point that way. And, and they all like, point that, that way. way. I mean, it seems like a subjective question. Like, you think you know, no, maybe some people one. would have different ideas of what the best bar in town was, but everybody pointed to the same place. It also might be the only bar we don't know. <laughs> Therefore, it would It's not that big of a town. It could still be the best pub in town if it's the only one. Right? Well, I'm saying it would by default be the best pub in yes. town. <laughs> there would be no other options. I yeah. remember it being pretty good. <laughs> okay. We stayed uh, here for like an hour before he came and made us like help him, right? Weren't we here for like... Uh, yeah, we stayed in a bar. It might have been this one. I think it was I don't know one. if it was actually... I don't actually know if it was this one. But yeah, we stayed in this bar where Stefan Dukansky found us. And then and like convinced like, hey, us to come to a you party. You guys look him. like you would love to party. And good old we Stefan. Like, sure. <laughs> and it was... That's the blind it guy was right? not a party. I wasn't blind when we when we first right. met him. Yeah. We, yeah. When you give you give me a hard time about ripping a guy's ear off, but I didn't. I gave Balder an incredibly hard time about well. taking his eyes out. So he was the first one. You always remember the <laughs> you first. Always remember the first. <laughs> <laughs> always coming back to the scene of the crowd. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Always just to see what the handiwork was. All right. So we were walking in. And so. Uh, through the, the Champions of Sun, you guys have been at sea for a little more than a week. You are 82 days out from Buddha. Uh, with the, per, except, perhaps the exception of Jumness, it feels good to be on solid ground again. Oh. At the edge of the docks. Haha, uh-huh, you're not happy to be here. Mm. <laughs> a, uh, at the edge of the docks, a pub sign catches your attention. In Albanian, the sign says, Bubi mi mi Yes. Or, Bubi mi mi Who speaks Albanian? I don't. Uh, is, I, it, is it anything like German? I feel like Matias would. <laughs> Matias? Is, is that not part of Matias, the... Matias, do you that, speak Albanian? Havnik? Is that the same? I, did, I speak uh, several languages, but I do not know if Albanian is among them. Uh, I speak comma, Hungarian, Latin, and Turkish. Uh, Hellenic. Yeah. Oh, um, I speak Hellenic. Okay, you think you yes. loosely translate as the best pub in town. Guys, it's the best pub in town. Really? I'm you know. waiting for this. <laughs> the sign told me so. The barrels ran dry like a day ago. Okay, inside, <laughs> it is crowded with so people. It is thrumming with noise. <laughs> Weaving your way in through between the crowd, the darkened areas, Virexen would be able to misty point, point, step from corner to corner, to corner to corner to corner. You see up ahead, you note, Ambriel and Simonita, and they are hey. sitting with someone, chatting away. Hey, Jonas. Good girl. She's, she's, with not, another, she, she's with another guy. They're talking. Mm. How does that make you feel? She's, 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 she doesn't even have she's to be sending to talk she's to him. Dog. She's, first off, <laughs> I can talk to her without sending also. And you know what? She's uh, Can you? You should go do that. Can you? I walk up. I approach. Uh, Simonia. As you're, even before you approach, they stand smiling brown, brown, broadly. Broadly, and they rush over towards you. Simonita actually comes up and gives you a hug, and then she awkwardly goes and starts giving each everyone else a hug as well. Oh, it's so good to see you all again. Um, Ambriel comes over. Yes, it is. I assume where's Oda? Is she on the ship or she's with the kid, right? Oh, she's with the. Or, the and where's Demetrios? Argan would stay on the ship with, unless you wanted uh, to do otherwise with. Yeah. Um, with um, Emilio Paul de Bruno. <laughs> huh? He's probably like Louvier. Well. Louvier. With Louvier and Virexen. And Virexen. And Virexen. Uh, Louvier. Yeah. 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 Let me tell you. <laughs> Let me tell you. I have a story for you. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, he's a. Uh, oh, uh, you, if you combine uh, the Wy- household said, ingredients together. Wyland said uh, he told us that uh, this like whole session, snails? Louvier was going to be sitting in a barrel, like. Uh, alone um, with his dragon gem, just like oh. gazing into it and, and caressing yeah. it. That was, that was, oh, oh who's a beautiful little, that's oh, perfectly we're going to go stable. find your brother and sisters and we're going to get more. <laughs> so he's, that's his, that's what he's doing all this session. Um, as you are carrying that barrel from the horse's mouth. As you are meeting 
Uh, an attractive bar maiden notices you as well, noting your reunion. And she smiles and crosses the room. Do you go over and you join them? Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. And the maiden bar maiden comes over and says, uh, um, can I get you anything? Looking for around the, uh, your group. Around your finest ale around for the every day. Uh, yes, indeed. This is um, an important occasion. And she quickly takes off and and is gathering them up. You see, many of like, that's Theodora. She's been helping us out. Um, she put us up. Oh, I'm, t- I'm sorry. Um, this is Gorp. Uh, we met him here in town. How do you do? Gorp. Nice to meet you. Gorp. It's an interesting name. Where do you hail from? <laughs> uh, I've been many places. Uh, a fellow uh, traveler and adventurer. Over a long time. <laughs> Uh, what, is, what does he look like? Uh, he looks... What do you look like? Generally human, uh, you know. Uh, not s- very tall. I'm wearing nail armor, and it's camouflage painted. Okay. Huh. Plate mail. <laughs> ahead of his time. I'm carrying <laughs> some <laughs> way ahead. It's it's way ahead. I'm it's carrying just a head long floating. I don't understand. <laughs> It looks very 1970s, 80s ish. <laughs> it's called in the camouflage it's an interesting pattern. Interesting set of armor you have there. <laughs> very with cold. The very cold war. <laughs> How did you come across our friends here? Uh, I was just, uh, you know, I got a room upstairs and I was just uh, hanging out down here and uh, got in some interesting conversation. This one here is going to be a nun, so. Keep your hands off. Okay. Simonita looks right. at you like. Just <laughs> <laughs> looking out for you, man. She, she can take care of it. You know what? That's... I know. Oh, okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Charlie comes running over to you. Charlie! And I'm going to intercept and I'm going to go to bed, Charlie. Real quick. <laughs> Charlie! He's like. <laughs> I'm going to slip him a piece of jerky, too. And he's like running Charlie. between all of you. Charlie. Who does Charlie go to? Uh, does he run past for I love this. I love when we do this. Does he run? <laughs> I love this so much. You're trying to entice him with jerky? It, yes. <laughs> Are you trying to entice him in any way? Uh, I just by being the person that Roll he loves a the most. D20. Roll a D20. Are we doing a, what, a, a good old fashioned roll off? Yes. <laughs> 10. I got a three. Is this animal handling? No, no, we just said straight. I said straight, but... Oh, did you? Uh, uh, I'll, your, I'll add your animal handling. It's okay. sure. I don't think it's good enough, actually. No, I think that, uh, that would give Charlie me goes, an Charlie goes, sees the, sees the jerk, and he goes over to Boren. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Go like, see oh, it comes go up and starts daddy. sniffing Charlie. Go see your dad. <laughs> Charlie turns his butt toward like a, yeah. in the they normal start circling. dog <laughs> greeting. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey, how you doing? Amriel just, hey, how you been? Hey, hey. Amriel puts her head down on the table. <laughs> <laughs> I give, uh, I, I She give says Charlie to you, Marius, welcome presence. back. Um, anyway. Like how it looks longingly at Borinth for jerky. I'll throw him a piece. <laughs> The barmaiden returns with your drinks. She's got a, a large platter filled with them. Uh, Simonita says, again, this is our friend. Um, this is Theodora. Um, I, I think I told you, though we had no gold, she put us up. Yes. She t- took care of everything. Uh-huh. I think we, I don't know what we have. Um, Theodora just sort of shrugs. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Oh, uh, well, no, we definitely worry about it. Uh, you've been very kind to our friends here. Um, I'm sure Corp can vouch for that. Um, what, 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 what were the damages? Uh, I'd have to tally it up. Sure. Because, uh, well, um, we didn't know, Simonita didn't know exactly. I'm already drunk. Simonita. I'm already drunk. <laughs> exactly when you would be here. So, okay. Um, well, once the math has been done by this time, we'll pay whatever, whatever sure. the costs are. Absolutely. And actually, In the meantime, let's get some food. Um, we don't have much money, but we're add happy that to the to tab. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure. Food all around for my friends. We, we have enough for the best pub in town. There you go. Um. Okay, everyone, roll a d20, please. Drunk here. Matty, yes, you too. Ryan, you're gonna love this. Right. You're gonna love this. I need 
it's, it's, if it's a perception check, Ryan's gonna love this. Okay. Yeah, so perception check. Four. Uh, perception? <laughs> uh, oh, it's perception or is it yes, straight? Yes, perception. Oh. Nine. Uh, 17. But I rolled it. Okay. So perception. 19. 16. Okay. Um. This dice is going to be in jail. <laughs> Think about what you've done. Rolled a 19 in jail. <laughs> I saw the it's Lord. <laughs> okay. Um, it's being cleansed at the moment. <laughs> Kip. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kip, Jumnus, and Matthias. Note um, uh, Theodore furtively looking and see, being somewhat attracted to, you might guess, um, both Gorp and and Balder. And she's like glancing over at you. And she goes, um, I'll be right back with your food. And she quickly darts off. Okay, so what are you guys doing? I want to know Drinking. how Simonita got here. Drinking. I'd be interested uh, in seeing and hearing that story as well. Uh, perhaps. Uh, I'm going to look around the bar for any suspicious characters. Sure. Roll with disadvantage, though. Yeah, I mean, it's jammed, and it's some, some parts okay. of it are dark. So, uh, that is uh, 16. There's a with lot. There's quite a few suspicious-looking characters in here. Okay. Uh, You're at a pub, like a stone's throw from the docks. Mm-hmm. But it's the, the best pub in town. Yes, it is the best mm-hmm. pub in town. Okay. Are right. we in this lit area? Yeah, sure. Area. Unless you don't want to be. No, no. We're going to be <laughs> in the jugular area. Yeah. Man, it's difficult to read. All right. Um, All right. I'm waiting I'm on the I'm food right. to come out and finish my ale. Balder, we need more ale. Yes. This, this one at a time isn't going to cut it. Theodore comes Bring back out with trays. She's furtively glancing at Gorp and, and Balder. And she goes, uh, Can I get you anything else? Did I notice that her glance glaring at him? Did you notice? No, you did not you notice did not. with a four. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, no, I meant this, I, this I, I'm gonna second say Ah, roll. roll. Well, I, I noticed, roll. and I can point it out to him. And just oh, okay. Born. I think the waitress has a thing for Balder. Oh, maybe, yeah? the, maybe the new guy. Hey, Balder. Let's you see got? that waitress. Looks like she's got, she's got your attention. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, you, you've had a way with all the waitresses so far, haven't you? Do you think she would want an eyeball? Maybe, 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 <laughs> maybe. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ignore that. <laughs> you know what? Maybe she would want. Well, I'll kind of, I'll kind of, I'll kind of take advantage of that, and I'll ask her to bring the whole uh, barrel of ale out. <laughs> uh, roll a persuasion check with advantage. Let's try this. 1921. Mm. Well, she looks at you and like, oh, yeah, yes, of course. Um, I'll be right back. And she comes back, and there's a, looks like a, uh, a young lad helping her wheel a, 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 <laughs> a, a, a keg out to you, and they just like lean it up toward the side, and they run a, what looks like a, <laughs> some kind of fabricated hose off of it. Uh, over toward the center of the table for you. <laughs> Is there anything else I, I can? I can All right, get men. So much better, ladies. Let's Cheers. drink, and I'll hand a cup over to her. <laughs> oh. oh, thanks. And, and, and she drinks with you. I, I can't drink too much, though. Um, no, not too much. And then uh, you continue to imbibe. Sounds just like that. Just like that. <laughs> yeah. Sounds oh, just the the whole, downs the whole really mug of ale. Yes. <laughs> Bring me another. Speaking <laughs> of <laughs> downing a mug of ale, <laughs> oh, because you're watching like... the Carpathian Adventure. <laughs> we will be right back. Thank you. <laughs>
much. You're watching the Carpathian <laughs> Adventure. The party is in Loire. Yeah, she actually Albania. cut us off. She cut between me and the police And we rejoined them. I was the driving the APC, and Tom was in the TC hatch. And she came between us and the... And I lateral steered it sideways to keep from running into her. <laughs> yep. I'm telling war stories here. Probably deserved it. <laughs> no, it's truth. Okay, you're in the bar. Uh, Theodora comes over and sits down and, and starts to drink, and she's glancing at the two of you. But she seems to be glancing since you took an interest in her, and slightly more toward Balder. She goes, um, are, are you new in town? Uh, yes. I, I don't think I've seen you before. We were here many months ago. Oh, okay. So you come back here Thanks. a lot, then. <laughs> no, this is uh, my second time here oh. at the best bar in town. Oh. So you'll be back again? I can't say. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's got a wife. Oh, he died. <laughs> well, not yet. Fiance. <laughs> Uh, nothing's officially yet. Nothing is official. But he's got game. many. He's, he's got, got a whole table shake. <laughs> she seems somewhat <laughs> turned off. Kip's like, ah. You cut the wrong person. <laughs> and she's like, so what's your story? <laughs> your, chair, your chair just slides across the whole bar, kick you by accident. <laughs> I guess I'm sitting over here now. <laughs> Guys? <laughs> Like cradling my milk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they, you uh, talk with Simonita, and what do you ask her, say to her, blah, blah, blah? Uh, I want to ask her, um, is she using her real name? Um, uh, Theodora knows who I am. Okay. But I, um, she, she put us up and has kept it very low key. So, um, we were blown off course. Okay. She seems somewhat upset for a moment. Um, she says, um, the Ottomans, um, we saw some horrible, horrible things. Um, we made our way toward Smear, Smira, Smyrna, and uh, nothing will ever equal the horror and spectacle that I saw there um, as the city fell. People were frightened and shouting, and they ran from their houses, and they were cut down by swords before they even knew what was happening. Some were massacred in their houses when they tried to hide. Some were in churches where they sought refuge. The enraged uh, Ottoman soldiers, they gave no quarter. They had massacred, and then when there was no longer any resistance, they were intent on pillage. They roamed through the streets, stealing, disrobing, pillaging, killing, even raping, taking captive men, women, children, old men, young men, monks, priests, all sorts of conditions. It was a horrible, horrible situation. There were young women who awoke from troubled sleep to find those brigands standing over them with their bloody hands and faces full of abject fury. This medley of everyone, these frantic brutes, they stormed into these houses, they dragged them, they tore them, they forced them, they dishonored them. They forced them to submit to the most horrible, outrageous spectacles. It is said that at the sight of their approach, Many chose to give up their lives on their own rather than being taken. Old men, we saw old men being dragged out of their homes by their white hair and they were beaten furiously. Priests were led into captivity in batches. 
hermits and recluses who had given their lives to God alone were taken. They were dragged from their homes, beaten in the streets. In spite of weeping and sobs from those around them, they were made objects of abject scorn. They were brutally snatched. Children were taken from their mother's breasts and killed in the streets. No temples were desecrated. I'm sorry, I, it, it just, when you was thinking about the journey, we yeah. saw them. You're here now, it's, you yeah, escaped it's, all that. We know we're fighting. It was horrible. They pillaged, supposedly for three days after they captured the city. We managed to get on a vessel um, that made its way out with refugees. We bobbed about the Aegean for probably three days. I don't remember most of it, I was sick. But eventually we made our way to one island got on another ship and made our way to another. Uh, they were filled with refugees trying to escape. But we're here now, right? Yes, but not quite safe yet, I don't think. Um, this Theodora, um, how long have you known her? Um. I came into town, and um, I didn't want to go to the castle. So I came into the pub, I offered to help. I worked a little bit behind the bar, and she gathered that I had, didn't really have the talent or skill for it. Um, we chatted a while, and she offered to put me up, and she's a very nice soul. I gathered that she had another life too, and something's gone awry although she hasn't opened up to me about it. Hmm. Okay. I just, uh, I don't know. She, uh, she, she made it seem like it wasn't a big deal, uh, you know, putting you up for no cost, and I've grown wary of that in our travels. I, I don't know if here is the best place, um, considering where we are, considering who you are. Um, I think perhaps, uh, while we deal with our business, we might want to get you and Embryo, uh, back to the, to the ship, uh, while we deal with what we're dealing with. Embryo says, I've taken care of her this far, I can certainly take care of her on the ship if you want, but don't worry about me. I just, once we're out of here, out of the city, I'll feel much more safe. Um, this is, uh, this is like, uh, walking into the lion's den for you, I'm sure. Yes, this is. But I've kept very low-key, says Simonia. Thomas, if I may. May way. Simonia, you've seen the face of war. A war that's probably uglier than any other war that has come through these lands as long as anybody can remember. This isn't a normal war. It's fed by evil. You know this evil. You you know all about what we face. Perhaps you've seen what's really out there. Now, John, this is going to disagree with me and you're probably going to disagree with me. But perhaps you're place is next to the Emperor. Perhaps you can affect his judgment more than any of ours can in, in the battles to come. Which Emperor do you speak of? Your husband. My husband? He's a beast. I understand that. He's a powerful beast. The man's but had four, three wives before her. I understand how many, this. How many of those, uh, how many of their opinions do you think he valued? Men like him. 
men and maybe, power. Maybe they weren't the powerful people, the powerful women that Simonita has proven to be. Perhaps. Borinth, right? Borinth, you give me a lot of credit. You've made it this far. I was wed to this man at five. I understand that. And he decided that it was appropriate to consummate the marriage at that point, and now I will never have children. I understand all of this. The man is a monster. I understand this. We should be... He's... I am just saying that she may may have the opportunity to make a very large difference in the tides of these wars and by running from her responsibility what about the what about the boy we're putting him in power the boy's going too yeah. what, what are you talking about the boy Demetrius Irene's son my brother your brother is to be sent to your husband is it Mer- I can't remember Mer- pronounce Mer- his name Mer- Stefan Mer- Militon yeah. Militon is to be sent to him. They're trying to unify power. And they are against the same evil that we're against. I mean, we are working for these people. We're we're and fighting a different war. I, un- I know that. Right. We are. However, this other war still exists at the same time. We cannot fight both. We need allies. We need smart, powerful people that can influence the tides of these wars. If we need allies, I don't think uh, Stefan Milton is, uh, I don't think he's one of them. I don't think he's the type of ally. I think, I, I think the boy would be a better a better king than, than he, who sits on the throne. An aging emperor with a powerful wife. I think there's influence to be had there. I don't think he's as aging as you think he is. Okay. He's not he's not as uh, elderly as your father. He's in his fifties. Just not young back then? No, it's not young at all. Right. But it's not so. I understand that. I'm just saying that I mean, we could easily be around. We could take her and we could hide her off and continue to try to hide her and keep her safe, or she can play her role in a bigger part to things to, to possibly come. I, like I said, Jonas, I don't mean offense by it. And that's why I'm I'm just floating the ideas I don't of the possibilities here. You talk about torture and the wickedness of men's hearts and what they deserve, and then you want to hand this man uh, another mortal soul to, to do the same thing, to torture and to torment. This this wicked man, this monster. I don't know that. I'll yes, scoop I myself do. back up to the table <laughs> and be like, uh, These, this we is set how... the boy up. Maybe we can put the boy in power quicker than anticipated. Just floating the idea. Think about what you're what you're asking uh, us to do. Ask we've we've uh, I mean we've done that to one king already. Mm-hmm. These are how empires to... have been made from 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 as long as time has been going. Okay, marriages between between <coughs> countries and statesmen. And this is how this has functioned well beyond us. This is how it works. And clearly, and it's not a good system. What I like that is also thrones anyway. She has left him. How do you think he will value that, unvalue her? She left him because of family obligations that she had. She left with his grace of leaving. He allowed her to go. And it was our responsibility to bring her back to him. I understand that he's a monster. I I get this. Yeah, we should. I don't know. <clears throat> we should. Uh, we can let it be. We can bring her back to the ship, and we can. I mean, here's the thing. That's that's fine. I'm just saying 
that there's an opportunity here? I don't know. I don't. I don't like Ms. Simonita. What do you think? I'm overwhelmed by everything I've seen in the past few days. I it, it just. There's more of that on the road. I understand. As we continue to go, as we continue to travel around with you, there's going to be more of that. We're moving further from the Ottomans, at the very least. Right. Uh, I have to process it all. I don't, I don't know. Very good. <clears throat> we'll go drop Demetrius out. Let's see how it goes. Okay. My food here yet? I mean, come on. Theodora comes over again, <laughs> bringing over lots of food. Angry. She seems very nervous. She brings over lots of food and sets it all down for you. Is there anything else I can get for all of you? Bring just more food. More food, absolutely. And she she checks the keg to make sure it's still full. She reaches over and grabs some and drinks some herself. And she goes, "You don't mind, do you?" No, go right, right in. Uh, and then, is, is there anybody paying more attention to us than probably roll should? Roll a perception check with disadvantage. Perception. No, that's a five. You don't see anybody. It's you're, pretty you're crowded. But you're not. I mean, you guys are adventurers. You've been around the block. You know that if somebody wanted to watch you in here, it probably would not be difficult. Yeah, Twitch and YouTube. This is our Twitch channel. I'm not Twitch channel. Mattias, are you doing anything in particular? You're very quiet up there. It needs to be on uh, I don't do anything particular right now. I'm mostly looking around to make sure that nothing suspicious is going on. Okay. You do know you still have the other scroll of sending, correct? Yes. Okay, cool. All right. I'm not trying to persuade you. I'm just trying to remind you. Okay. No, the, that's fine. The rest of the evening starts to pass. Theodora continues to bring food around. Um... Yeah, let's do it. Let's get there. Yeah. What, uh, what time of day is it? It is, ne by now, I'm going to say eh, early evening. Yeah. You pulled in, it was yeah. sunset, yeah. you meandered through, so. You should get rooms. Mm -hmm. Whoa, we ready to deliver this cargo? You can do that tonight? Yeah. Right now? Okay, well, sure, let's do it. Yeah. Let's have yeah. Embryol and uh, Argam. Well, Argam's at the ship, yeah. unless you yeah. wanted to. Do you back. guys need an extra hand? Always welcome. Sure. Why not? For yeah. the yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds fair. Just don't try any funny business. <laughs> Let me do the talking. <laughs> I think you've done if you enough. Can stop him from talking. We encourage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so where are you going? Get in trouble. I can hear you. What are you right doing? Up. I think the idea was to send Embryo and Simonita and Charlie to the back to the boat, and then Charlie's the like, <laughs> "Yeah, go back to the boat, boys. You know the boat. You know the boat. You love the boat." Hey, Charlie, go to the boat. Both of you roll <laughs> animal handling checks. Mine's been so low. Oh no. That's a rockin'. <laughs> I'm not uh, even gonna look. I rolled a four. I that's a rockin' look. 23. <laughs> he turns to you, he's like, What do you want me to do? Go to the boat. Protect it. Pr protect it. <laughs> but you can't I'm sorry. Him, which one he doesn't do, he just goes to the boat. I'm just giving him I'm gonna give him ear scratches. <laughs> he goes over to Simonita and he rubs it's up against Simonita and he's like, oh. Good boy. Go. You gotta protect him. Good boy. Just like I said, go to the boat. Ambriel's like, we'll meet you on the boot. Very well. She, Simonita, Charlie, head to the boat. Roll high in your stealth check. I'm sorry? Nothing. I didn't hear what you said. No, it's okay. Uh, no, Tom didn't hear what you said. I know. Yeah. Okay. I know it's pride for the best. <clears throat> okay. So, and the rest of you are in the, in the Puvi Mimiri. The best club in town. Yes. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, we have to go back to the ship to get the kid. Oh, then you know what? We're all going to the ship. Okay, you all that. head I'm back sorry. to the ship. Everybody's heading back to the ship. You all go back. The ship is in the dock. It's dark um, in the dock at this leave point. The best pub in town. I want to make sure that nobody's following us. I'm going to wait till last. I'm going to uh, let everybody leave. Should we secure rooms? 
Oh, we yeah. Have a, we have a ship. Also. Oh, yeah. Uh, just stay on we a ship. We do have a ship. Oh, stay on the boat. Yeah. Yep. Sounds good. Boat. Yep. Um, I just want to make... <laughs> Was that? Is that your is stomach, it? dude? I don't know. This is the NASCAR thing again. Oh. Oh. Um, uh, yeah, I just want to make sure that no, as everybody exits, I'm going to wait a little bit longer and just wait to see if anybody follows. Like, outside of it. Yeah, I probably have my eyes peeled, too. I'm super wary. Yes. Okay, you head out into the streets. Roll a perception check straight up. 15. Uh, 14. Minus one. And you said you were looking as well? Yes. Okay. Well, sure. Uh, 19. I'm sorry. 20. Uh, dirty 20. D- understood. I like that term. That's cool. Um, the, uh... Oh, by the way. Hey, um, Don't you get it? Cool. cool. The, um... You guys make your way out of the, uh, the pub. And, um... And, uh, there you go. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm and, uh, the. And I uh, just suggested killing the king, right? <laughs> the, uh, more explicit. You have a sense that there are a lot of. There are people looking at you because you're strangers, but you're not sure if they're looking at you with decided action or, or if they're looking at you because they're following you. Okay. But there are a couple of people watching you as you go bu- go out. Okay. They could be thugs on the dock. They could just be interested parties. They might just, or they could be people who are specifically looking for. And you. as we leave, what does Teresa do? Theodora. Theodora. Theodora is mean. running up. <laughs> okay. She's really like, um, I'll, I'll give you Teresa. your your tab later, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, okay. Here. You know yes. what? I'll leave um, twenty gold. Okay. That's. That sh- whatever that doesn't cover, let me know. Oh, that's very fair. Thank you. You got it. She seems somewhat disappointed. N- not in the value, but but then you go ahead and you head out. Won't she be disappointed in other lives? <laughs> oh. No, I, whatever. We'll probably be back. And Gorp left. You head out into the night. Gorp, you're heading with them? Sure. Gorp is, is heading with you back to the docks. Gorp doesn't like the water. But if I remember correctly, but he's also wearing plate armor like Mattias. But we can't see it. This is true. It's yeah. he's, just, he's just a floating <laughs> head. A floating head. Nineteen eighties <laughs> camouflage. <Yes>. Anyway. <laughs> okay. I want to invest in a little uh, desert print. <laughs> <laughs> so new, we're completely fooled by it. I'm gonna have uh, digital pattern. <laughs> I'm gonna have like Koa follow about twenty feet behind us. Okay. Okay. Uh, does Loka like Koa have a perception check? Uh, he would. A oh, oh, perception check for like Koa. Extras. Hide and sleep. Like, uh, he's got passive passive perception of sixteen. Okay. Um, but if we roll, oh, uh, that's a nineteen. Okay. <laughs> Your wolf sees people watching you. Look at that. Yeah, I called her the wolf. No, you did. That's wow. Like, wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Proud of Big changes. Wow. Okay. Go back and subscribe now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You make it to the uh, Ray d'Italia. Mm, uh, uh, Emilio followed the Bruno, and Argam are up on the deck as, as well as Oda and Virexen and. Louvier, and they're all just kind of hanging out, drinking up on the deck, making sure nobody's approaching. Uh, back so soon? Yes. yes. Yeah. We're here to pick up the boy. You better get some money at the low deck. Yeah, uh, so I'm going to try to, as best I can, ensure that they don't see each other. That Simonita stays hidden from Demetrius. Is how I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, the, so the you ask Dimitri. I, I assume you just ask Simonita to pull a cloak over her head sure. or something like that. Yeah. Demetrios, uh, Argam calls Demetrios, um, come on out. And he comes out. Yes, what is it? Um, I'm taking you up to the 
castle, I believe. Yeah, correct? we're going to go meet your new dad. Let's go. Ah, yes. Um, you know, it's kind of late at night, but very well. You ready to go? You, said it was early you have all your night. stuff? Early evening, right? Yeah. Early evening, yeah. yes. So, um, it's dinner time. Demetrios comes on out. He's got some stuff with him. Not too much. And he goes, I have more bags below. You, somebody will come and get them later, yeah, we'll right? Get you. Yeah. Very well. And you start to make your way. He makes his way down the gangplank. As he starts to walk away, Simonita turns and okay. goes up so, on. Well, to let's, like, Ho is going to come up to me and just start growling. And I'm going to be like, what is it, boy? And then I'm going to be like, I, I think we're being followed or watched. Like Koa senses something. Okay, so we'll just be ready. Um, let's get one of the horses out and load it up with this kid's stuff. We'll just bring him up that way. Mm-hmm. Put the kid on the horse and we'll bring the stuff Should up. Should we really okay. bring him if there's some sort of danger? Well, now might be the right time. There's less people on the street, so... I think we'll be fine. Yeah. We'll okay. see if, he's, if he's with us, and then the boat is going to be guarded with Embryo. We have Gorp. Embryo, uh, Argam, Louvier by Rexon. I mean, I don't know if yeah. we should be putting him All in harm's way. Putting him in harm's way. Should guard we find the boat? out who I mean, these people are first? I'm a little bit Lord curious about why Simonita uh, has no problem with us bringing her brother to this monster, but she won't go herself. I think there's <laughs> less of a. I, I'm assuming there's less of a sexual threat for the boy. Okay. Is what I'm assuming. I guess. That's. I hope. In that <laughs> I just think that she would have something to say about it. Such as well. Um, what I will do. Uh, I think there would be more rumors if there, if that sort of thing were, were a danger. Yeah. Well, we'll. S- I don't know. We'll see what happens at the end of this. All right. So we'll grab um, a horse out from below deck. Okay, it takes a little while. Yeah. They swing up a, a boom over and they get the remainder hoist, of the hoist his, out. Of the There's several blocking. horses, and they bring it out and they lower it down again. Yeah. We we'll get the remainder of his stuff and the horse. Load the horse. And load it all up. <laughs> okay. And you could even, he's light enough, you could even put him on board yes. if you wanted to. Yes. Put him on the horse. Okay. I remember what happened to Eugene. All right. <laughs> so who's going to, who's going to the, the palace? Yeah. Uh, the party. Yeah. The, right. the, the yeah, party that's here. Yeah. We're leaving by Rexon right, and Louvier and Argnam and Embryo. And, okay. Uh, I guess. Before everybody leaves, when everybody else is on the ship, um, uh, is there like a, there's like a room that, to, like below decks that uh, like Simonator would be able to wait in, right? I stay out of. With Oda. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yes. yeah. Oda's there too. Yeah. Yes. Um. Cool. I'm gonna say, hey, wait here until we get back. I'm gonna put, and I'm I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna cast a Guardian of Faith, uh, in front of the door, um, which is one of my four level like, slots. Be careful. Um, nice. You too. Um, I will, uh, I can leave my tiger. Oh, sure. So. That sounds great. Um, so tiger's there. I'm gonna put right in front of this door, uh, I'm gonna put a guardian of faith, which is a large spectral guardian appearing, it appears and hovers for the duration in an unoccupied space of my choice that I can see within range, which is gonna be the door, um, or near the door. He occupies that space and is indistinct except for a gleaming sword and shield emblazoned with the symbol of my deity. Uh, any creature hostile to me that moves to a space within 10 feet of the Guardian for the first time uh, on a turn must succeed on a deck save or take 20 radiant damage. And he does 60 points of damage. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna say, yeah, I mean... I'm going to put him on the boat. Put him on the boat. <laughs> and he's going he's gonna to protect, uh, protect the boat. Okay. Or at least protect uh, Simonita and Oda's room on the boat. Wherever they may be. A little, little safeguard. Okay. They should be pretty well guarded. There's a tiger, there's a spiritual oh my. guardian, it's and there's that they're on four board. adventurers. Okay, on I the feel off chance, I'm going to take a DM leap here. And indulge me. And if you want to fight me on it, I'll, I'll acquiesce. But on the off chance... That whatever you guys end up doing elsewhere... Damn it, Charlie. <laughs> elsewhere becomes something else. Virexen and Louvier will be tagging along behind you. <laughs> Does that make sense? Um, did we want them to stay and guard? Is that the intention? I, I mean, I, yeah, I don't know. I feel like, uh, I don't know. When they show up, it does make it easier for them to just be there. 
Okay. <laughs> but we right. know, we, That's we what know I was alluding to. But we know Virexen's not coming back. We're going to leave summer. one, but take okay. the other. Do we? Yes. No, no. Oh, is yeah, he not? He's working. I thought he said he's, he's oh, okay. working all so summer. Right? Virexen changes oh, his mind. Awesome? Yeah, because it's... I love behind. Oh, my little baby. Oh, oh I guess we must go on an adventure. So it's all summer. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So Virexen turns around and heads back, just on the off chance. I don't know where you get. Okay. So you guys start heading through the streets. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Bless you. I guess, I guess if we're doing this now, then I'll be coming with you guys. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah. This, yeah. This, is, this is where all the fun's gonna happen. Yeah. So I'm, I'll lead the horse. <laughs> I need to I'll ensure. I'll hold one hand on the reins and, and we'll just lead the horse. I'm so looking Dimitri. forward to this, says Demetrius. Us too. Yeah. <laughs> um, as you depart the docks, insane. you pass the and Pubi Mi Miarai. You know that... Man, that place is so good. That was the best, that was the best, best. bar in town. <laughs> you know that <laughs> Valore is not quite as wealthy as Constantinople by a long shot. You can hear... Oops. Yeah, there we go. You can hear the sound of water mills, blacksmiths, and others plying their trade, even this late at night. Away from the docks, the streets narrow, and though there are animals in the streets, including pigs and sheep, it is reasonably clean. Departing the main portion of the city and making your way up, you make your way up a slight rise. You can clearly make out a small keep, and you probably see it in the picture, mm -hmm. above and to one side of the city. A 30-foot wide moat surrounds it and is murkily filled with what you suspect waste from the keep itself. It's nighttime. The structures to support a drawbridge are clearly evident, and it is up. On the close side, two guards stand idly by a small wooden guardhouse. A torch mounted to a stand illuminates the general area. Okay, take him out. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? Call, yell at them. Attach a no to an arrow yeah. and shoot him. Yeah. Boy! <laughs> Hell! Um... um one of the gods says to you, um, Hell, what can we do for you? We're on official throne business. We need to see the king. Stefan Malutin. He looks to the other. It's a little late at night. So we come from Constantinople. We have a special package for him. Um, we're, we're in a rush. Empress? Was it Empress or Prince? Uh, was Empress Irene? What One was turns it? to the other, was looking quizzically at yeah. him. Um, what's the special package, sir? Uh, it's uh, to be delivered personally. Yeah. Okay. It's, a, it's, a, it's from um, Emperor Paleologos in Constantinople. Um. Do you have any uh, papers, documents? Yes. Yep. We do. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me see what I got. Uh, do, 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 do. Papers, please. I got a promissory note for the Champions of the Sun from King of Hungary. Uh, I got a note from Bizanis Teraru. <laughs> Uh, did we ever get anything paperwork? Yeah, I, I didn't give you a physical oh, piece oh, yeah. of paper, but yeah, they but did give you it. a a document. Yeah. So you hand it to him. Yeah. And he looks at it. And he turns and he looks up at the other side, across from where the drawbridge would be, and he says, "Um, Demetrius uh, plays with logos. Is here to see the king." Somebody up on the ramparts looks down. Mm. Uh, hold on. They go down. It's like, um, might be a few minutes. Hope you don't mind. That's fine. We'll wait. Yeah. Well, that's good. <laughs> uh, we wait here all night. Yeah. How, how was that? Qualities. I always really hope they're out. Yeah. 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 Do you get good benefits? Um. Yeah. Four days on, two days off, four days on, two oh, days okay. off. You lose some weekends, but it's not yeah. too bad. 
Alright. You a dental? Uh, apparently not. Ah, uh, well, <laughs> you definitely don't have dental. <laughs> That's okay. Oh. A short while later, um, uh, the bridge slowly, the uh, drawbridge slowly comes down, and the, uh, a god comes across, and he says, um, he looks at you, and he says, um, he pulls out a small pad, and he has what looks like a small piece of lead in his hand. He goes, what are your names? For the Champions of the Sun. Um, We've been here before. You've been here before? Yes. Uh, yes. Actually, yeah. Uh, okay. We delivered, uh, the king's, king's son, Tukansky, to Constantinople. Well, who's in charge of the Champions of the Sun, if anyone? It's like a democracy. Yeah, They're gonna that, be really that? big. It, it'll be just wait, just wait a couple, couple hundred years. They're gonna be huge. You mean a republic? I mean a <laughs> <laughs> whatever. <laughs> it's gonna be all over TMZ. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, we, we, there, we don't have a, a leader per se. We all make the decisions okay. here. Okay. Very well, the champions of the sun. He yeah. seems to scrawl it down it's as uh, best he can S- S- on a piece of. Yeah, S-U- Sun. Yeah. Like the Not S-O-N. S-U-N. 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 The Sun. Sun, like the sun in the sky. Yes. Yeah, the one that, yeah. The thing that the whole world revolves around. Sunlight, sunshine. The world doesn't revolve around it, though. You'll figure that one out eventually. He writes it down. Can you give me your names, at least? I am champions. Your champions. Of this is of. <laughs> of sun. And the sun right there. <laughs> Gore. He writes down. Yeah. Gore. I'm Boren. Boren. This is John the Stoneflower. John and this is, I'm this not is that Kip, fast. Barely. And that's Balder. Any more questions? Uh, yeah, we, we I'm have just a, doing we have, I am, we, I am We're Matrasius. trying to do our job. Do you want us to Matrasius. spell it for you? It's J O. Uh, I spell it phonetically because I S. And you look and it's written. It's not Jumnos. We understand you have a job to do, but we also have a job to do. And it's been a long road, and we are ready to get this over with now. I'll be right back. I like looking at his paper. Let me see what you wrote here. No, no, I got to Let me check for you. He makes his way across the drawbridge. He goes inside. A few more moments go by, talking about dental plans and whatever. Gorp, are you wanted by, uh, how, how's your relationship with most of the thrones, the kingdoms? Are you on good terms with the government? I try to avoid. Well, you just walked right into the lion's right den, in. man. You know, we try to do the same thing, and it's the darndest thing. We just keep ending up at palaces. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it is. And he comes back a short while later, and he says, um, okay, um, will you follow me? Lead the way. Mm, yes. And he follows you, he takes you across the drawbridge. As you go back across the drawbridge, then you can hear it coming up behind you. You meander, meander into a courtyard. There's walls on either side. It's not a, you've been to several uh, castles and palaces before. This is definitely not a wealthier one. It's very small in a courtyard. And then you go up to a main keep inside of the courtyard. You go inside the front door. Uh, let's pick this up here. If you, if you mind. Uh, we're gonna need to back that up just a hair. Uh oh. Playgrounds! Playgrounds! Playgrounds. Oh no. Things to destroy. Playgrounds. Mark, I need your help. Grab that corner. Or somebody grab that corner. It's a little heavy. Perils of resin. (laughs) (sighs) I'm assuming this guy's not sleeping? Yes. Okay. Okay. (laughs) You're escorted into. I wouldn't be surprised (laughs) if that guy was sleeping, (laughs) actually. You're escorted into what looks like an antechamber. You wait there briefly, but then... Right here? Yes. Then very quickly thereafter, the doors open, and you're escorted into a main room. 
It's a huge, oh. well, huge. It's a 10, 20, 30, 40, you, uh, 50, 60. My character. Oh, oh, oh well, I'm sorry. sorry. You left Gorp at the boat. Duh. This little guy? Mm-hmm. Oh, Gotta go back. Yeah, this Gorp? I can't reach. Gorp. It's a 60 foot, oops. Yeah, how are we doing this? Marching order, marching orders. What are we doing? I'm in the back. <laughs> All right. I'll be, Where's Gorp I'll be next to Demetrio. Mattias, where do you want to be? We're doing marching orders. Do you want to be up front or do you want to be more towards the back? I'll take front. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's our like. Thomas? Yeah, front, that's front. Good. That's front row good. Yeah, front row. Balder? I'll be next to Demetrius. Right here? Did I, did did I put your AC on there? Well, this looks so Demetrius is well, not Demetrius really there. Demetrius is AC 21. Yeah. Okay. We hold him right up front as a human shield. Um, yeah. Ryan, he's here, right, put AC 21 on his <laughs> card here. there. Okay. Right. So, you meander inside. 21. Um, we have many tanks. It's a 60 by... 60 foot wide by I don't know how many feet long room. It's approximately 30 feet high. There is a balcony on this end. This is part of it. I just can't Mm -hmm. put it up there, guys. You see several doors off of it. It's illuminated by torches. It's it's bright, but it's not excessively bright. Uh, If Virexon were here, he might be able to find some dim or dark corners throughout it. Um, Sitting at a small throne a very pedestrian throne, if you will. At the far end, you recognize, because you've met him before, Stefan Milliton, correct? Yes. Yes. And welcome, gentlemen. So, I remember the Champions of the Sun, your jumpness, correct? Yep. Did you take my rebellious son, Stefan Dekonski? To Constantinople. Yeah. And did you blind him? Yes. Well, he t- you, he's the man to speak to about that. Oh, you blinded him. No, not Gorp. Uh, but the taller. <laughs> the big one. Uh, <laughs> the one the uh, eight foot tall one. You blinded him. Yes. In fact, here's his eyeball. Did, did he, he scream <laughs> out like a little yeah. child? Did he scream pretty loud. The little petty thing. Undeserved. <laughs> so, what brings you here in the middle of the night? Uh, the this this oh. this boy, Demetrius. Mattias. This boy. Yes. <laughs> Mattias. Where you put him wherever you want. It's a little more round yes. than we thought he was. Explain to no. the king. He's only got a right leg. Why we're here? <laughs> <laughs> Who we bring? Can you, can you give us all of these dice? Unless you don't know, <laughs> then I'll do it. He's somewhat you mean, effeminate. You mean the young Sir Demetrios, the guy yeah. oh, no. the throne? He yes, has gorgeous that's why hair. I'm asking you to do the talk. And I'm oh, very pretty. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, Mattias, do you Mattias, do, you, do your thing. This is what you do. Oda's been playing all dress All right. <laughs> I, I step forward. Your Majesty, we are here to deliver a, a very important guest from we all play the our previous lo- location in Constantinople to your court. Uh, I'm listening. You have my attention. Mm-hmm. We've been sent with the with the or- with the express order to deliver to to your residence, His Highness Demetrios of Constantinople, the heir to the throne of the Eastern Roman Empire. So why are you delivering it to me? Because we do what we're told. I'm sorry? So why uh, are you delivering him to me? Those, that is what we are ordered to do by the Empress, my lord. He looks at the child. Um, I think he's supposed to replace Dikonsky as a potential heir to the, the, the your, your throne. Yeah. He's like the son you never had. Yeah. <laughs> we, uh, Fostered, we, perhaps. Uh, we were told that you were to adopt him. And Adranikos and Irene are in favor of this. 
this would mean an alliance between us. I, I believe that was the That's the plan. intention. Yes. Do you have anything to back this up? Papers. Yeah, piece, papers. Piece, piece papers. Paper. Papers. And, and, papers, and kid. <laughs> and the, and yes. the kid himself, the child will. The pageants of nobility to, with which to confirm the ancestry of the young Sir Demetrios, we were entrusted with those as well. Uh, now, which one of... Uh, uh, Matthias uh, uh, whispers to the group, which one of you had them again? I, th I thought you had them. Yeah, I thought you had them. The, the papers? Yeah. I actually think I have them. Okay. Yeah. Um, because I, I, I'm the one that made the deal with Irene that we would do okay. this. Yeah, so I present him the papers. A god comes forward, takes the papers from you, and then I, takes well, them back. I hand them to Mattias and let Mattias hand them to him. Yeah, and, uh, and Mattias hands it to the guard when, the, when he steps forward. The guard looks over it, and then walks it back to the king. The king looks over it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So an alliance with Byzantium between Serbia and Byzantium. I'm all in favor of that. Aye. Really? I don't see anything wrong with that. Roll a persuasion check, Matthias. All right. With advantage. Persuasion with advantage. Got it. <laughs> That is a 19. Why should I do this? I don't understand. Byzantium is collapsing. Perhaps I can just take that what may I be want. My lord. <laughs> but have you, have you considered the possibility that, well, if the Eastern Empire falls, you'll be faced with a far more pressing threat. I'm listening. If the Greeks ultimately falter and fail, you will no doubt be ordered in short order by the Turks. Now, typically this would be a simple matter of everyday politics, but I can say without uncertainty that you do not want to be in the, in the proximity of the realm of Osman Ghazi. Yeah, something's got him all fired up. I already I fought a battle against him in Gallipoli. I'm going to be called into another war against him very momentarily if I ally with the Byzant Byzantines. Will I not? His war is coming for you regardless. He's tearing through the countrysides, making his way to you. I can honestly, unfortunately, I can say that that is true in more than a metaphorical sense. Several, uh, several Turkish soldiers actually made, went so far as to attack the kingdom of the kingdom of Hungary and the Empire of Carpathia, specifically in it, the Serbian state. Roll a persuasion check, and because Borinth assisted you with advantage. Boom! You see that? I do. <laughs> You're so <laughs> random. I would like to read. <laughs> so formal. Uh, uh, oh, persuasion. That would be... Interesting. Uh, 16. Bring forth this child. Let me see him. Bother you with him? Yeah, I'll walk, walk him forward. I'll walk him up there. He turns to the boy. Are you prepared to be loyal to Serbia and forsake all others? Even if it means Byzantium. Yes, sir. That is why I'm here. To provide a clear...
clear line of succession and stability to prevent the collapse of disorder in the empire. Who are you? I'm Baldur. We've met before. <laughs> we did. Don't recognize this face. Yeah. <laughs> He's very young, eyes. Matthias. You sound like a noble. Where are you from? I am a loyal servant of the Crown of Hungary. As of right now, there is some unrest troubling that that realm, as of, as I understand it. However, in short order, I intend to proceed north again to aid my liege lord. I have heard rumors. What exactly is going on there? I am not entirely certain. As, as I understand it, there is some sort of civil unrest or conflict. Hmm. Well, if your king were willing to give up some portions of perhaps Bosnia or Croatia, perhaps it would be... Uh, I might be able to come to his aid, especially with Byzantium on my side. That is a possibility. I cannot speak for the king in this matter. However, I would be more than capable of delivering such an offer to him in Pest. What would entice you to deliver such a message? I would be happy to do so. What he means is, if you adopt the child, he'd be happy to do so. Well, <laughs> I believe that that was implicit. Roll a persuasion <laughs> check, Kip. Oh. Oh, persuasion. persuasion. Oh. That's <laughs> a six. <clears throat> oh, hang on. Roll oh, a persuasion. one of these. Okay. That's a six. That is, you can assist him. <laughs> Oh, that's a natural 20. Which would be a 24. He says very <laughs> well. I've talked at length with the boy, and he's a, he's a strong mind. And uh, he's been ed well educated. And he understands the responsibility that will fall on his shoulders. He will be a valuable asset. To your lands and successor. I hope so. I hope he proves himself worthy. Step forward, Demetrios Peleologos. The boy steps forward. His kneel. The king steps forward and he says, I deputy, heir to Serbia, Albania, and the lands that shall be conquered as the Serbian Empire expands. And he touches the sword as gently as a 50 plus year old man can to each of his shoulders. And then he hands it back to his guard. And he goes, you must do right by Serbia now. The boy stands and stands off to his side. Now, on to other business. Irene tells me that you have my wife. <laughs> All the air <laughs> just left <laughs> <in> the room. <laughs> we did. Uh, but she... We just... We got lost. separated. There was... Well, yeah, yeah. There was a battle... I in which the like Ottoman, there is a battle in which the Ottoman. Different subject, my lord. I apologize for my inability to adequately voice the details this of the matter. The Ottomans, right? The Ottomans said that. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, the Ottomans and Big Bang, yes. Yeah. Uh, Multiple okay, of you talking that all at once. At Prusa? There was a battle at Prusa where the Ottomans um, had taken her captive. Was it Prusa? It was, I think it was Prusa. Yeah, I think so. 
Irene told me that you were delivering her into my care again. Yes. Hmm? This is her. That was the intent. With Clarence. But, as we have already stated, Ghazi and the Ottomans are quite powerful. We were overrun. Roll a persuasion check with disadvantage for it. Am I able to assist? Uh, <laughs> sort of sure, um, you can make it straight up. Is there something okay, in your backstory? Rolls, what like, is this guy slaves uh, you? you just what are the two rolls? It would be the higher. Dead. 15 and a 2. <laughs> okay, so the 15. So persuasion would be 14. <laughs> 14. I think, wait, let me check and make sure not. With advantage or disadvantage? Nah, no, that was with him helping. Him. Let me make sure my persuasion is not different than my. So it would, the disadvantage becomes straight up. No, oh, so whatever your first roll is. Persuasion. Oh, it's straight yeah, up. It's so just 15. The, the highest. Zero. Yeah. He says. Give me the go ahead. We'll have one to what? one. <laughs> Based on what I see. He nods to the back. Oh, yeah. To the gods at the back. They both step forward. And he goes, very well. Go get her, Borin. The rest of your party will stay here. Go get who? Simonita, mm-hmm. my wife. Prus is like really far away. I can wait. We can't. I've given you no reason to doubt me. I've I delivered you. Irene de Beauvoir told me that she was bringing, my wife was being brought back to me by the champions of the sun. Yes. And here you are, without my wife. And we lost her. I don't believe you. Prove it. You prove it. I'm going to take a couple steps towards him. Two guards step forward in between you. How far can I go? You can go as far as you want. Oh, Well, I mean until they intercept me. this guard steps forward here. These two step forward. You just stand. The kid. I think the kid is next to him. The kid would be over here. So just stand next to me. Yeah. You think your men intimidate me? Yes, they do. The doors close to the room. Cool. All right. Well, I see where this is going. You don't want to give me reason. We've delivered your. We've delivered the boy to you. We I'm giving you an option. I'm giving you an option. Return to not, my wife. I'm giving you the option to not have this boy become your successor right here, right uh, now. <laughs> you think you can take me, do I you? I do. I know I can. Oh, you can't. You sad individuals. The champions of Boy, nothing. Consider what, what? you are suggesting. Champions of nothing. Champions of nothing. I will have you know, sir. I will take another I... step forward. I harness the power the of the sun in, your way. in my very hand. Did you try and push him out of your way? This uh, is your last chance. Let us leave here, or it will get bad. He may leave. Bring back my wife. I bring you nothing. You may go with him. The rest stay. <laughs> and I guess <laughs> you're gonna need I'll only take the one, one on the right. Person. You take the one on the left. Let's do it. On the right. <laughs> one on the left. <laughs> All right. <laughs> But we're saying this. We're saying this. We're we're speaking this right now. So we're speaking. We're speaking to this right now. We're kind of, we're kind of, right of shoulder to shoulder. We kind of yeah. go. We do this. We're kind of like doing like rush hour. Like and that's it. Like we Jackie attack. Chan. <laughs> Let's just do it. We attack. I go. I go left. You go right. They're not like letting Starsky us leave. And <laughs> They're not letting us leave. Let's do it. And we both swing. You <laughs> better think about. It. You just named your successor to your Roll throne. Roll initiative. Hooray. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um, all right, all right. Give me, give me numbers. Give me numbers. Nineteen. Got, wait, let me, let me get set up and then give me numbers. Uh, nineteen. Twelve. Eight. Nine. Eight, seven. What? What did you go? Wait, give what? me, give me a number. Seventeen. Seventeen. Ooh. That's good. We got kill. Fourteen. Fourteen. Eighteen for the bad guys. Eighteen for oh, the baddies. Yes. Come on. Okay. Uh, we get baddies. What do you got for initiative? Control. We get one hit first. God, no, we're <laughs> Wait, what? We're rolling, we're fighting these dudes. Initiative. Unless you want to sit out again. This this dude is trying to take Hungarian land. You want to mess him up. He wants to steal from your king. You were really quick to want to give him that land. I was simply going to present the offer to my king. Doesn't matter, you're stuck in the room and they're going to kill you. All right, with my... This is self-defense now. That is an unnatural 20. Unless you want to stay and we'll leave, like you said. We leave. Oh, it's unnatural. Oh, unnatural. Yeah, got it. It's, it's, it's literally uh, Where's Gorp? 
I'm right Gorf, here in the door. I'm got rolling 14. D20. 14? Uh, okay, cool. Yeah. We, so what did you what did you what did you have? 14. 14. He's a 14. What's your dex bonus? Four, yeah, you get a straight up. Definitely, okay. it's definitely <laughs> nothing. I'm just making okay. sure here. With an armor class of 21 and a plus or... nine to hit, he's got no damage. Well, it's all I mean, strength. It's all strength. <laughs> he's got nothing else. The kid just gets strength. the final stab in the back. Just strength. Zero. Yeah. The rest are zeros. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Just two Where are the opponents at? 18? Yeah. Yep. Okay. I could pretty much take his head off. Higher decks. Higher decks. Okay. Boom. Okay, Mattias, you are up. What are you doing? Oh, please. Um, okay, so... Oh, no! Who's the archer in the group? There is a balcony up here. You got a balcony with a bunch of guys yeah. in it. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh that's yeah, up yeah, top? Yeah. That's above us, though. Yes, it's, it's right sitting right across here. there. Oh, it's right across there. Okay. Okay. I will... Maybe a little piece of wood to actually put up there. Yeah. Um, there's a book up there. Okay, so the farthest uh, one We don't have archers up there. Yeah, right? yeah there's going to be archers there's up there. No, undoubtedly going to be archers. Not yet. Yeah. Oh, no, never mind. What's up? Sorry, what do you need? The, far, the farthest reason. one of our party say, forward is Borth, correct? Borth and Balder are neck and neck. You can flip one of these. Um, okay, yeah. I will run up and, uh, and be just, bes- yeah. just beside Balder. Yeah, there's... Well, could you do anything? Are you holding an action, or...? I'm, I'm uh, preparing for defense. Okay, like, okay. An, are you taking the, the dodge, dodge action, action, or are you preparing an attack? Preparing an attack. Plus okay. Some, you don't need plus, no dodge uh, action. <laughs> I have the protection fighting style, so I'm, so I'm helping defend them. Oh, cool. Okay, mm-hmm. Borinth, you are up. So I just give you that. I just give you that nod. Let's do this. Four doors we need to watch. Okay. Actually, five doors. <laughs> How many guards are there? We are uh, in the perfect situation. One, two, We're right. totally fine. Oh, uh, that's it. That's in the room. We keep Just doing it. We're in good shape. Three. We're in good shape. Who was you see three at a time. Four, five. Four time what? Oh, but they're up top. Like they're what up above here. Or are they? Or yeah. There was another guy like right here. The vampire, I think. Okay, so you can imagine that this is kind of like over this area. And this is the emperor. There was one other time where we went to someone's home. That's not somebody else dying here. Yep, that's him. Nobody else in this room. Yep. Okay. Oh no, that wasn't his home. But still, I am going to. There was one like that. It was like rage. Immediately rage. It was a long time ago. And I am going to take care of the guy to my left. And I'm going to... To your left. Okay, you turn to the guy to your left. And swing away. It's your attack. Swing. Um, I'm going to go into a frenzied rage. All right. right. Frenzied rage. You know what? Let's go crazy. Yes, that is a 22 to hit. 22 hits. Backboard into a corner. That is a 23 to hit. A 23 hits. That is a 15, a 16 to hit. 16 does not hit. Okay. Hope you kill him with the first two. Yes. That's uh, 13 points of damage for the first one. Okay, still up. Second one. Ooh. That is uh, 21 points of damage. So a total of... 21, 31, 34 points of damage. 34, okay. He is not a happy camper. He is not a happy camper at all. This one right here, correct? Yup. Okay, he is up. And uh, I still have movement. That's so he doesn't okay. drown, right? So I am going <laughs> to move so he doesn't drown. Yeah. around <laughs> him. Still floaty? It's a way for me to remember. Um, to underneath, so now I'm like in this area here. Okay, I understand. Him. I'm not leaving combat with him, but I'm going around so that I'm underneath that face. overhang. Got it, got it. The opponents are up. Okay, this guy will turn and he will swing away at you. This one will turn and swing away at you. He grabs a potion and drinks it. No, this guy turns pressure. and goes against him right there. And... Sure went right for him. This guy s- steps yeah, cool forward slightly and you see a mage stick his head out yeah, from right there. Mages. From where? Where did the mage stick his head? At the balcony. Okay. Okay. Right here. Okay. And... Okay. That's important. Um, okay, let me see. Oh, that... On Balder, uh, you could. And then we could just the focus two on guards swing away at you. I didn't know that there's two over there, but there's only one. 
<laughs> lousy. Uh, lousy, lousy, lousy. But they're going to go ahead and take an action surge and a 22. One twenty-two hits. The other one does not hit. They both took their action charges. Uh, yes, they did. Okay. Maybe they out of action. Both service. did. Well, this may not go that long. So, just right. kind of hammer them into the ground like a nail. <laughs> okay. Uh, and you take nine points from one. Oh, actually, nine. I'm sorry. It's nine plus. Mm -hmm. Uh, nine and uh, four. So you take uh, 13 points there. Balder, there's one guy on you. He swings away. Oh, wait, on me, you mean? Borinth? Borinth, I'm sorry. Okay. Borinth. And AC, a 19. Does that hit? That hit. Okay, and so he will do. Eleven, and he's got an action surge on you and a sixteen. That does that, that hit? Or does? My AC is a sixteen. Oh wow! I'm surprised. Okay, eight, and another thirteen points. So uh, they are both total. are 24. they are both piercing. So yes, so half damage. Total twenty-four. Yes. So I take twelve points of damage. Yes, indeed. Okay, and then he drinks a potion, and then they. Um, Disengage and go one, two. Isn't disengage in action? Uh, yeah, not if they're rogues. Oh, oh one, okay. Two. They don't look like rogues. <laughs> That's right. One, two, three, we have four, a rogue who is a monk, so. Anybody can be a rogue. Six. He lights himself on fire. One, two, three, four, five, six. Something to do with these and torches. Then. Disengage. One, two, six. And then he goes... Is that an action to drink a potion? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. uh, he's got his movement, though. Hmm. Six, and... Okay, and I think... Oh, okay, these guys... This guy over here. Okay, this guy right here, he can't see you because you're underneath. He sees Borinth. Borinth, make a dex saving Balder. throw. Of Balder. <laughs> Balder, make a dex saving throw. But you got throw. the wolf right. There you go. 19. <laughs> 19. Whoa, nice. 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 That would have been bad. Dun, dun, that big man cool. can move right there. That would have been really, really <laughs> And he picks bad. up Mattias. <laughs> yeah. He like dodges really out of the way and really Mattias takes the full force. That would have been very, very bad. Oh, okay. How bad would it have been? Uh-huh. I don't want to know. <laughs> No, you don't. <laughs> okay. Level like nine lightning bolt. Uh, no, worse. <laughs> oh my god. What did it look like when it, what, this attack on him? It looks, what, I don't know how to describe uh, it. It looked like a very narrow beam of energy. Oh. <clears throat> Laser. Not a lightning bolt? <laughs> no. <coughs> okay. You, uh, I don't know if you've seen it before. You might have Absolutely. one time. Okay, and I believe. Can I ride up the laser beam? Ride up the laser beam. You may not want to. <laughs> That's the opponent's boulder. You are up. Kip is on deck. Followed by Gorps and Jumnus. Where did everybody go? Um. I guess I'll run up to the guy who drank the potion. Since yes. everyone ran away. Mm. Yeah. All right, okay. I'll head over there. Well, he was getting out of the way of what was coming from the back. Yeah, they all kind of they kind of knew. I'm like, well, this isn't going to be good. <laughs> there we go. Going face and then to face with him. My oh. hammer will erupt into green flames. <laughs> yes. And that's a 20. 20 just or hits. 21. Just 21 hits. And then oh, we know he does. Let's see. It is <coughs> cramp. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, that's good. Damage. I think I did that right. Yes, eleven damage. And then is the other guy within five feet of him? No. 
They're, they're kind of farther away. Yeah, no. They're spread out. All right. So 11 damage to him. Okay. He and is. Then... Anything else? And attack again. <laughs> go, Boulder, go. Ooh, yeah. Natural one. Mm. Fumble guard. I guess. Uh, all the time. Oh, man. Never mind. There you go. All the time. Why not? Uh, That's, not this gonna is hit. not a fumble. What is that? 15? Right. 15 does not hit, sir. And we're good. Okay, Balder, that is Kip is up. Gorp is on deck, followed uh, by Louvier. Do, do I have line of sight on the mage? Uh, sure. Okay, um, I will uh, cast Hunter's Mark on that. Oh. All right. Um, and then, so he's got Hunter's Mark. Oh, does your Hunter's Mark show up on your eyeball? Uh, I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. Would that would yes. that trigger a chevron? Um, he's focusing on it. He's... You try for a moment, and then you get a sense that he's not an object. Got it. Um, okay, so uh, he's hunter's marked. Um, I will shoot an arrow oh, at oh, him. It's got to be an object. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, so let's try it again. Uh, that's a natural 20. Yeah. Oof! Um, which one? Critical. critical hit. Oh, critical, critical hit card. Great. Maximum so damage. Maximum damage. Maximum damage to the head. Ow! Uh, Can I see the card? Anything oh. else? Uh, let's see. The effect. The stun. Oh. The, the attack to the head and causes maximum damage to the lab by your attack. And oh. see. DC 10 con. Oh, DC 10 or con be or be stunned. stunned. DC 10 con yeah. or be stunned. Yep. Okay, that's what I was like. Okay, so he's plus two on con. He rolls a nat twenty. Okay, Ooh, he's good. So he's good. Okay, so um, it's a uh, eight. You just roll. It's maximum damage. Roll. It's maximum damage. Oh, so eight, it's eight uh, plus whatever. So thirteen points of damage. Thirteen points of damage. That Ouch. Um, that's attack there. one. Uh, <laughs> and then second will be. Uh, I mean, I'm just gonna shoot him again. Hit him again. Yep. Oh, oh, so an close. 18. 18. Uh, he's got a little bit of cover, not oh, much. Oh, wait, I but... forgot my D6 for the... Uh, that's another three points of damage for Hunter's Mark uh, from the first hit. Okay. So it would be, oh, so, would be so, max. Max. oh, it would have been max, max, so it's six. Yes. So, so sorry. So six. total of 19. Yes. yes. Okay. Sorry. Uh, yes, and the second one does not hit. Does, oh, okay. Well, he's got a little bit of cover, not much. 18 doesn't. Okay. Um, okay, uh, I will just. You don't uh, think that that uh, that was all of his armor? Part of it. It's just a little um, bit of cover. But you do. We'll you were able to see him though. Move over here, and the wolf will move. Just up. Yeah, don't forget, there's a guy right to his right. The wolf's yeah. right. Yeah, he's not going that way. Okay. He's going over by Volker right there. Okay. Okay, uh, Gorp is up. Uh, anything I'm else? Gonna move towards the guy with the ring. Anything else, Kip? Yes. Uh, you. No, you know what? I'll just move a little bit back to the corner here. Okay. Out of the way. What do you got against guys with rings? Take him well, out. I want him going out that door. <laughs> Take him out. He's already hurt, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Give him the old one, too. Okay, Gorp, you are up. What are you doing? Um, oh, you're attacking that guy. Okay, okay understood. Take him out. It's a one. A one. Oh, no. I'm gonna, I don't want... No, I'm gonna, I don't I'm gonna, gonna use my inspiration. Yeah. I don't yeah. want your first yeah. attack yeah. to be a one. Your very I'm first attack. Yeah. That's in, lame. In probably yeah. ten... 15 years. <laughs> oh, oh, it's not a one, though. What was it? It's a three. three. Oh. three Give me plus, a new dice. Plus but you're plus what? 13. You're plus nine plus, or something. Or plus, plus 10? 12. Plus, plus, plus 12. nine. So you still missed, oh. though. But, <laughs> but, it was, but, you, don't miss but you have bad. two attacks. Yeah, you have yeah, two yeah, attacks. Yeah. So second attack. Well, was, he a, was he a fighter? He's a straight up fighter. 17. Woo. 17 plus nine. Yeah, that's definitely a hit. So it's a 26. Yeah, that hits. Roll damage. Uh, 1d8, I think, plus 5, I think you are, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, roll away. I oh, know, I guess 6, right? If he's a plus 9? Uh, sure. Plus 6, sounds good. Yeah, uh, nine so, points, so 9 points of damage, that guy's at. Wait, it is. Or it depends he's on still level. up and oh, already. That's what I am. 9 and 6, so he's he has a plus 9. Really really okay. Oh, okay. He basic. does, he looks really. Really wounded. Yeah. Okay. So I'm trying this. This is for more for me than mm -hmm. for you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, yellow is like wounded. Orange is like eh, a little bit more wounded. Red is like really wounded. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, so it kind of gives you an indication as well, but it's more Did for we me hit to the keep emperor track. Yeah, you hit the emperor's mm -hmm. eye. Uh, I mean, you listen, did. I mean, 
Probably not in uh, spoilers. Yeah, but, but. Okay. Oh no, I just was trying to remember if Valder had okay. yeah. well, a normal. Okay. A little more balance on my. He's still up. Gorp, Gorp, you have any? Too much you have movement. Should have done this You would today. have. You risk getting <laughs> attacked if you move out of combat. Uh, so he's only got five. You only have five feet of movement left, unless unless you can move further than thirty feet. How did they see him coming? Okay, Jumnus, you are up. Mattius is on deck. I have that I can move two to do anything. Uh, yeah, you're probably good there. Yeah. Mattius if will you just move, finish him off. And yep. Yeah, if you move out of combat, you risk getting now. attacked. Yeah. Jumnus. Okay, right. Jumnus, you are up. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna once again pull fire from my holy symbol, and I'm gonna spread it out across the balcony, and I'm gonna cast a wall of fire Ooh. this whole way up, <laughs> and then I'm gonna push yeah. it. So it's, uh, it's gonna be just right at the lip, and it's gonna push. Uh, well, I can't make it just. Right yeah. Well, yeah. No, I understand. Oh, um, I'm <laughs> so Beautiful. it's going to be uh, yeah, perfect. Sixty feet long, twenty feet high. One inch thick, or one foot thick, I mean. One inch thick. Well, the uh, lighting has improved in this room. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. <laughs> <yeah. laughs> uh, when the wall appears, each creature within its area, which will be that space and then 10 feet towards the balcony, um, has to make a deck save against 17. Okay, so you see three of them up there right now, Sorry. and fail, save. Fail. Right, so and the fails take what? 5d8? Uh, 5d8. So roll we'll the damage. Uh, it's yeah. going to be uh, six. Uh, wow. Six plus 16 is 22. Uh, <laughs> Double eight. Uh, 26 points of fire damage. Whew. 26 to the two fails. Yep. And the save takes minus 13, correct? Uh, yeah. 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 Um, and then. Anybody that ends their turn um, within 10 feet of the wall on the opposite side from me uh, takes that again. Um, so that's what I'm going to do there. Uh, Very well. And I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to. Careful, Tom, it's hot back there. <laughs> I'm going to just move, kind of try to be off to this side. Like I'm Try to uh, <laughs> block. Yeah, I'm gonna move there, and then that's all I'm going to do. Okay, and that was Jumnus. Mattius, you are up. Borth is on deck. The top of the second round after jump after Mattius, you are up, rather. It okay. is the top of the second I round. I can't see um, the actual board. Okay. So where are the enemies of relation to me? You are You're dead center in the room. You so you have pick of the litter. Yeah. So to your right is the emperor and two guards. Okay. Within I think within about thirty feet of you. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think at this point yeah. you can get to anybody. You can get to anybody. Three guards and the king. Get the emperor. Most of the action is to the to your right. I got this guy. You take the other side of the room. To the right. Okay. I'll go to the right. Okay, who, do, to a guard or to the emperor? To the guard, I'll try to hit him with the flat of my blade. To the right or to the left? Uh, left. Uh, yeah, do the left. Yeah, far good. That good. makes the most sense. To the okay. flat of his blade. Give it to, to the flat of his blade. Like we already went to I'm gonna do non-lethal damage. Yeah. Okay, roll away! This sucks a lot. That is a plus a three plus a Five, What's the name of the Kingslayers? Just rolling up. Hey, we're the Kingslayers? Uh, Champions a, uh, of the Kingslayers. <laughs> 25. 25 hits. Somebody else is a Kingslayer, and we're just their champion? Well, no, that's just to rub it in his face. The Kingslayers he keeps saying he doesn't the want to do that. Oh, yeah. What? Kingslayers of the Sun? What are you talking about? Kingslayers of the Sun. <laughs> 25 to hit. You hit. Yep, 25 hits. Roll up to the palace. Like Roll the damage. Game the Kingslayers. Game of Game of and this is yeah, non-lethal damage you're doing, correct? Cool. Okay. <laughs> You can decide yes. if you put them to just zero, you can decide that. Oh, just the name. <laughs> yeah, nothing to worry about. 14, okay. You're okay. not a king or an emperor. Right? We call ourselves that in jest. No. You're an emperor, not a king. It's okay. <laughs> we, haven't, we haven't killed a um, king yet. A second attack is a 24 to hit. That's a hit. Two damage. And then a... Plus my strength. It's a fifth, another 15 non-lethal damage. I know, he slapped me. Uh, ouch. Okay, still <laughs> up. You killed him accidentally. 
<laughs> when, when you knocked him unconscious, he hit his head on the floor and he died. He <laughs> bit his tongue. <laughs> right now. No! Don't worry, I'll kill him when you're done with it. <laughs> Anything else? Look, Mattias, you missed this one. <laughs> you missed one. Anything Maddie. else, Mattias? <laughs> Woo! Okay, okay Borith, you are up, followed by the opponents. Balder, Kip, Gorp, Jumnus. I am moving in a sprint right straight to this Emperor, dude. I'm gonna hit a range and I got beheads the kill. I'm gonna come right in here. And Fix that. Camera. Where are we looking? And uh, I am unloading on him in a, my frenzied rage. Huzzah! Um, reckless. That's a good one. Okay. 27 to hit? 27 okay. definitely hits. Uh, this is where the world's going already. 19, I'm afraid. Uh, what 19, is that? 20 to hit? <laughs> 20 20 just hits. <laughs> Natural 20. Oh, Natural 20 hits. 30. 30. Oh, that was a critical. <laughs> Alright, so I'll do the damage for the first two first, right? Sure. And then we'll do the, the crit card. The triple six. Okay, so that's uh, 21 points of damage. That was easy. <laughs> okay. The first one. I have one somewhere. I gotta find it. That is 14 points of damage for the second one. Okay. Oh, Maximum damage. Ow! Double oh. damage. Even Ow! So that is. So do I still roll for that? Right? Yeah, you maximum. roll and then you double it. Oh, that's, that's good. That's good. That's good. Though. So that's 19. So that's uh, 19 doubled. 38. 38 right. points of damage. 30. Right. Yeah. 19 times 2 is 38. 38 points of damage. So ouch! Ouch! <laughs> there is nothing. <laughs> nothing left of that. Guy. Lost ouch! Now. Okay! How much was that total? I mean, a lot. I want to know. A lot. I didn't keep try. I kind of tallied it up. Oh, okay. uh, you, it was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot. It was a boatload. You went from 24. You did 40 to 61 to 75 to 123. A lot. A lot. Okay. <laughs> Anything else? Um, I'm going to spit at him. Spit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you have any guesses. Just, just, just <laughs> knocked, you knock like a bunch he of, is red. of teeth out of his mouth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it is the opponent's turn. I really wanted to take him down. Huh? No, no, no. I'm just talking to them. I, like, okay. I really wanted to take him down right yes, now. Yes, I know. Okay, this door flies open. Yeah, Gorp, come. somebody comes flying uh, at I you. I knew that was coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, this People door flies open. Door. Comes open at this guy. If we kill the okay. emperor, we can convince and them to put their arms open. down. Okay, this guy will charge forward and attack. It's one, two, and just keep. He goes call that call that uh, half of his movement there. This call that half of his movement, and this guy comes forward and he will go. Out ah, of heck with it. He'll go use. Whoosh, over there. Okay. On Misty step. Over there? <laughs> <laughs> That's Mattias. Mattias. You're like the tank. AC 20, right? 21. I hate that noise. What is 21, technically. 21. Understood. Whoosh, whoosh. Natural 20. Critical card, please. And a 23. Non. Uh, okay. Triple. Damage to your arm. Roll a DC 18 strength check or drop your weapon. It's not just as dice as the cards do. Triple damage. Strength check, Mattias. Holy crap. Okay, strength check. Eight. Is it a saving? No, it's not a saving throw, it's a check. No, it's what the card says. Oh. 19, 19. Ooh, gosh. Did it say saving throw or check? That is it a natural says, 20. Oh, it doesn't. It's a saving throw. Matter. Natural 20. All good. Okay, so you just take Reverse triple damage. Uh, you just take... Uh, 57 points of damage. It fell off. 57 points of damage. 57 points of damage. What? You got triple damage on him. Okay. Oh, poop. With a... With a... Uh, with a, with a um, uh, sneak attack. Okay, the other guy! Okay, I'm at 19, damn, I'm at 19 and, hit points remaining. And the other guy... Oh, you're, oh, fine. you're fine. I, I did say he did hit with a 23. I, I, the other guy, I, I bet you're wishing you used the sharp part of your blade right now. <laughs> the other guy does... He's got potions. He's going down right One whole arm fell off, the blood sheet man. 14 points of damage to you. We can, Jonas can reattach okay, that. Okay. 
Did not today, I can't. I don't think he heard you. So another <laughs> 14. Another 14, sir. Oh my god. Oh no! Okay. This guy will disengage. He, he did not move. This guy used his full movement. And he will go, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I think that's where, uh, yeah, that's where he goes. He goes there. Okay. And then he turns and he swings at Borinth. Or rather, uh, Bor he's got Borinth? Yeah, he'll go at Borinth. Borinth, uh, he swings away at you. Not 20. Critical card, please. Oh, my God. Which guy is hit hitting me? The, the king. king. The, king. Okay. the king is hitting you. Yeah. And a... Okay. Never mind. Sounds like a person. I'm not, yeah. It's and a 24. 24. I'm sure 24 hits. Yep. Okay. Okay. He okay. does yeah. double damage to your leg. Uh, how are these people? Uh, Dude, the crazy. Really like I mean, we're in the heart. In fact, target loses damage. Blah, blah, blah. Target loses 20 feet. I don't think there's a save. You read that. Tell me if I'm wrong. Okay, just double damage, and then you lose 20 feet off your movement. Okay. Uh, and does he have a cohort there? Yes, he does. Okay, so he does... Does he have to... Oh, and then I need to cure wounds or similar spell. I have healing. Oh, I got a healing. I'm gonna heal another healing. I got you. I got you. I can't heal that much. Yeah, but I, 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 I think it's gonna get hit. Uh, is it double damage? It's double damage. Seventy-two points of damage. Halved. Halved. Well. Halved. Okay. And then... You just took 72? Well, I gotta have it. He... Yeah, 30, 30 Actually, 30. you know what? He has... Okay, he attacks again against you. He seems like he's moving furiously fast after he drank that potion. And he swings away again. One's a four plus whatever. I'm sure that's a mit. I'm yeah. sure that a... A 13 is a miss, correct? Yes. Yep. And an eight, a uh, 27 is a hit. Right? Okay, yeah. non critical. Uh, oh, is it the king? Is it the mm -hmm. king attacking? Yes. Okay. Oh. He's, a rogue he's, he's the like, boss guy. Well, it doesn't matter who he is. He's the king. He, well, whatever his staff work is, four attacks. 18 points of damage. He's haste. He took a push and a haste. Oh. 18 points of damage, halved. Okay. Uh, nine. Now he disengages. And he goes, what? And he disappeared. You don't see him there. Right and now. he can disappear. Well, he didn't. He's a rogue. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay. You're chasing him. You're chasing him. There. Okay. This guy on Boulder swings away. Uh, no way. Okay. And he—he he, was he there already, or what, did he move up there? Uh, he, this guy moved up there. He's gonna disengage as well. There go. Sure, I'll run after your king. <laughs> okay, that one on Jumness swings on away. <laughs> a 22 hits, correct? That does. 22. Uh, 13 points of damage. And this one on... Uh, he can't get any attacks in. He just moved there. That one on Gorp. I don't think. Gorp. A knight 18 misses. And the other one with a four plus seven. Uh, Eleven doesn't hit through your tankish armor. And oh, up here. Okay, these guys. Uh, oh, he's going to try to dispel magic. What does he need? Uh, what level spell is it? If it's a fourth level. Fourth so. level. So DC ten plus. This would be a fourteen. 14, he needs a 14, and he's got an intelligence of, okay. Probably like a plus yeah. five. He's good. He's, uh, try a 16, right? Yeah. Okay, the flame suddenly disappear. These guys did back up in a panic. <laughs> and that's what he did this, right? He uses his action to do that. And that sucks for him, though, because he... Probably could have done something better. Oh, for him. Okay. <laughs> and I think that is it for the opponents. Boulder, you are up. Kip is on deck, followed by Gorp and Jumnus. Should we give chase? 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, dude. All right, I'll run in the you hallway. Take him down. Mm-hmm. How far can I get into the hallway? Uh, you can move your Five, full 10, movement. 15, 20, 25, you just are like 10 feet into the hallway. You can probably get to that. Ah, yeah, it's right there. I'm in the hallway. Okay, <laughs> you are right in the hallway there. Where do I see? Uh, you see this guy, he's just probably... Did you last a bit outside? Um, give you a 50-50 chance. One, two, three, you're in. You can attack him four, five, six. No. Sound reasonable? Yeah. Five. Okay, you can attack away against him. Um, so are you stabbing him in the back, or is he is he running still? That's a good, yeah, that's a good question. So one, two, three, camp? four, five, six. One, two, three, he's back. Down. Four, five, yeah, six. No, he turns and sees you. He hears me in tones. Uh, it's okay, I have my raven. Okay. <laughs> okay. I attack. Oh, our no, wait, no. Stream. No, stream. You did frozen. Everything went down. 19 plus 9. Oh, oh no. I don't know tell you, dude. Hey, anybody watching? Sorry. No, they're not watching, so. <laughs> <laughs> they have stopped watching. Hopefully it comes back up. We've got a 28 to hit. Uh, I'm pretty sure it hits. <laughs> what is it? A 28 to hit. Yes. Did that guy have damage yet at all? No. Who are you hitting? That guard. Guy, no. The guard or the running. king? No. The guard. Well, can I? Know? Oh, wait. I can see the king. The king. Yeah. Went, the king went down. Oh the hall yeah. Cars. If you can see the king, I don't know if I can see him. Yeah, yeah but can, yeah. can he see the king? Or um, yeah. Sure. Why not? I, I can yeah. see him. You can. Um. So then it'll be chromatic orb. Mm. With a twenty-eight to hit. This is good. This is good. What is that? Good. Hold on, I'm sorry. I wasn't ready for that one. I didn't know if he ran further or not. Who are you attacking? The king. Oh, okay. So you're not attacking the guy right in front of you. No, I'm shooting right past him. Okay. Uh, sure. I didn't know he was still in the hallway because yep. you had him out here. Well, I thought he like ran further than I could see. You can't get that far. I got you. Human being. I put it back on there because you were in there. He's, he is a human. <laughs> And I guess I'll cast it at second level. Awesome! Roll damage. That is seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven. Wait, fifteen? Yeah, fifteen. Fifteen, 15 damage. Fifteen damage? Yeah. Okay, he's still up. And that is it. Okay, awesome. Anything okay. else? Oh, yeah, it's why not? Spell. Action surge. Sure. Oh. <laughs> you usually only get one attack, or do you usually get two attacks? It was a spell. Oh, because you well, used a, a spell. spell. Yeah. Action oh. surge, and I'll run right up to him and take the hit from that guy. Okay. So I don't know if he's going to do damage on me or not, but... Yeah, he's going to try. And we've got a 19 to hit. Do you have movement to get to him? You only get one action. Oh, it's only action, action so... Okay, so then... Him. Eldritch Yeah, Eldritch Blast. I guess it's twice, the same right? thing, right? Well, you can Eldritch Blast you two, twice. Two, two, two blasts. Yeah. For Eldritch So we'll do that again? Yes. We'll just do another spell. Or a And that's six. Twelve. Twelve points of damage? Yeah. Oh, he is definitely not a happy camper, though. Mm-hmm. That is ill, my feel. Anything else? Kip, you are up. Gorp is on deck, followed by Louvier. Uh, Louvier. J- Gorp, Gorp, and then Jumnus. Blah, 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 blah. Um. I guess I will chase him to the hallway uh, be- with Balder and line of sight. Ooh! Uh, I'm gonna give you disadvantage. So you're shooting, shooting the door is yes. open. Yes. yes. That's you're shooting to pass two people. Yeah. I'm gonna give you disadvantage. Well, I won't get his way. Right. You got that eye, man. Yeah. I, can I run past Gorp? Uh, sure. I mean, if you yeah. let to me, right? Balder. Yeah, Balder. Jeez. Sorry. Yeah, you're making a mistake. Yeah, I do it every time. So you guys just don't. Well, yeah. You you can freely move 10, through my space. Fifteen. Yeah. So I'll just stand there, and I mean, if that guy. Well, he would, I'd have to go past him for him to take an attack of opportunity, right? Um, you just gonna leave his man. He already took an attack of opportunity, so. No, did he? Against oh, I thought you said he did. Oh, I, I don't know that you actually did, did it, though. He didn't oh, he didn't oh, go yeah, past. Yeah. Okay, my bad. Um, um, it's okay. I mean, I can take the attack of opportunity. Sure. It's only if okay. leave his space. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah, if you're going to leave his space. <laughs> <right>. <laughs> Are you going to go? So you're going past him then? Yeah. And like, okay. <laughs> and then I will shoot the. You're shooting him! Is it? 
straight shot now? Right in the back yes. of the head. He's running straight away, shot. right? Natural 20. Yes! Oh! Oh! Oh, actually, actually, wait, the symbol's on the one on that die. Yeah, right? Come on. Come on, give us a good one. Uh, okay. Triple damage. Double damage. But it's still wow. DC 15 con or extra damage. The target can DC 15 the con! Hey, wow. no, uh, cock there. Uh, 17. You got it. So it's straight, straight damage now? Or? Yeah, no, so it's double, double damage. damage. Oh, double damage. What, right. is, oh, what so the con check was for? Probably some other. The target would take an additional 1d6 if you. Oh, that's the effect. Punch. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Um, so it's uh, some 14 um, plus uh, some 10, so 27 plus plus 12. What's 33. What is that? Six. What is 39 that? points of damage. What is that yeah. done for? That's, That's my hunter's mark. Oh no, hunter's Take, mark's not yeah, on him. Yeah, I don't have hunter's mark on him. Oh, he's on um, the Bonus action. Bonus switch. action. Move it. <laughs> so, uh, 39. Is that what it it's would like? be 39 right? points of damage. Yeah. 39. Ouch! You see him fall down. <laughs> okay. There we go. <laughs> oh, you moved your hunter's mark. That was my bonus action. Yeah. Which is part of the damage. Okay. Okay, I'm tracking. Yep. Cool. Okay. Th- anything else? Uh, oh, um, we can move some pets here. Uh, uh, Gort. Gort. I'll move Gort. him there. i move him there. That's it. Gorp, you are up. Jumnus, you are on deck. That's all right. I'm finishing Stop. off this Stop. guy. Go it's, for it. It's too hard. Oh, no, no, no. oh, Tom, to be fair, did you want to take an attack of opportunity against me? Oh, uh, I got him too. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. You see, uh, every time I move, 21. I miss. I went past him. Don't move. 21, 21, and uh, Second shot. 11 points of damage. Six. Six. Give me another die. Yeah, that was a nine. 18. 18 against which guy? Uh, that guy over there? Mm-hmm. No. Oh, no. <laughs> No, no, anything else? No, I'm gonna. No, do it again. <laughs> do it again. I want you to kill a dude. Damn it. Get me another die. Yeah, uh, hey, nice dude. Yeah. What? Sure, here. Uh, whatever. Six. He gave you a better die. I gave you a worse die. I'm sorry. <laughs> Roll again. One more time. Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna keep you. Well, just roll again. Uh, okay. I got it. I got it. <laughs> you sure you and Brian don't know each other? 12! 12, 12, 12 plus, plus 9, nine is 21. 21. You hit! Roll damage! Woo. The Emperor's running no, 15! D8! D8! There you go. D8 plus oh, uh, 5! Oh. Or 6! Uh, 9 damage. Nine. No, Enough six. to 10. kill. 10 damage. He is down! That is Gorb. Jumnus, uh, you are up! I and I took Kit to kill somebody. Uh, yeah, that's true. That's uh-huh. Do you have any sessions? I'll yell back. Don't forget uh, his eyes. I am going to. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm gonna cast healing word with my bonus. Shut up! Don't tell me what to do. I'm the. Who's the healer here? I'm the healer. Uh, who can I see within thirty feet? I can see Balder, Balder, Boren, Mattias, mm-hmm. Gorp. Kip, I can't see, nope. Nope. Uh, and myself. And the pets, but they're not, they didn't take any damage. Okay. I will heal all of them with a mass, uh, mass healing word with my bonus action. Um, blah, 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 blah. You all heal a nice, solid seven hit points. <laughs> that's awesome. But everybody heals seven hit points. So that's, I love that. It's like a good 35 hit points of healing. Yeah. Like seven. 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 Yeah, total, seven yeah. health. Look, it's better than nothing. But <laughs> Matias is back in the game. So that um, clears because in this card, that clears any cure wounds or similar spell potion of healing. That cure clears my movement. What happens if you don't have any wounds? On awesome. You know, okay. okay. Uh, and then for my action, there's a dude in front of me. I can't see any of these guys up on the balcony. They're all pushed back. Yeah, they, they move back because of the flames. Well, they move back. From like my advantage, I, uh, I wouldn't be able to see. Oh, uh, sure. Uh, roll a d6. One, two, three, you can't. Four, five, six, you can't. How's that? Reasonable? Which one I can? One, two, three, you can. Four, five, six, you can't. I can on four, five, and six. Sure. Uh, okay. I just. They all sounded the same to me. Both of them <laughs> sounded the same. That's a one. Okay. So I can't. No. Uh, okay. That's. 
perfectly okay. Um, I will instead... Uh, how far away are these dudes? Uh, one, two, three. Uh, is, that what, is, that, is that 30 feet? Sure. I'll move, you know what, I'm gonna move right here. If that guy wants to hit me, he can hit me. Um, and I'm gonna do uh, my channel divinity. So I will, um, my hand is going to start glowing over my thing. I'm going to hold it above my head and I'm going to cast sunlight out into the world. Um, everybody has to make a con save on 17. Uh, I'm pretty sure I should be getting everybody in the room. Um, I think I have enough range for that. So is it just only opponents or? Only opponents, yeah. Okay, um, con of 17. So, this dude first? Sure, where's my guy? Uh, I thought you picked oh, it, I picked up. it up. Yeah. Uh, no way. So that guy fails, that guy's dead. The uh, next guy. Uh, 17. So he succeeds? Yeah, that guy. Uh, not 20. All right, this guy. <laughs> A 18. All right, so the, everybody takes... Seven plus nine, sixteen. So this guy right here takes sixteen. Everybody else takes eight radiant damage. Awesome. Anything else? Uh, um, I'll take the rest of my like movement. Because that guy's still there. Yeah. To try to uh, run away from. To, I'm trying to get under the balcony. I don't Understood. think I have enough. Yeah, just about, I don't think so, quite. I'm right on the edge. Okay, no cool. That Everybody having a good time? Of yeah. course. Awesome, yeah. awesome. I don't think the battle's over yet, but we're, it looks like it's teetering on the edge of being over. I'm glad. Down. Me and Kip are well, not letting him out of our sight. We don't sight. have anybody who has to go to school. Well, <laughs> give Gorp closure. Let's we're going Gorp playing. closure. We're going to reload this. We'll load it back up after, after the stream. We'll load it up. Afterwards, um, well, some of us have real lives too. <laughs> I, we may not have to go to school, but we have other things that we have to do in life. Unfortunately, 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 but the battle continues. I, as long as everybody's having a good time, yes, yep. yes. no, maybe so. Yeah, yeah. Can you somebody so pass me the character sheet? Are we not? No, we are not. We're so done. Is oh, five we're five minutes of ten. Five continues. minutes of ten. You just said the battle. Take a picture. It will continue. <laughs> oh, it'll continue next. It will session. continue. Oh. Okay, I guess so. guys, I, it's five minutes. <laughs> we're just having fun, Tom. That's all. I, I just want to keep fun. So do I, but we have we have these other things called lives. Well, that's well. Um, anyway, okay. <laughs> Some more core. Uh, going around the room. Uh, let's start with Mattias this time. Mattias, what was your highlight of the game tonight? Um, I think the brief exchange of no of noble speak <laughs> and an actual diplomacy before the inevitable decline the inevitable. into attempted regicide that we seem to be falling into. Every single time. I think he did a great job on the RP there, yeah, dude. Yeah, absolutely. He always I thought it was it. awesome. I thought it was awesome. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I did not see a log or hook from you. Twelve fifty on experience. Okay, Ryan. Uh, what was your highlight, sir? Oh, wow. If there was one, I got to threaten an, em an emperor, and um, king. he's just a king. A king, or whatever he is. Um, I had a, I had a bunch of, there was a bunch of fun things that, that happened. I had a, that conversation with the kid where I tried to kind of yeah, that prepare was him cool. a little bit for what he was about to come into, and I had a good talk with Jalmus. Yeah, I had a good talk with Jalmus about... Now we just put him on the throne. Yeah, well that's, I mean, that, yeah. I think we had somewhat of an idea that, that, that we were going to be putting him on the throne. <laughs> You know, so, um, and I had a good talk with Jomnus, um, you know, about the baggage that we carry and stuff. And, uh, and I got to go into a frenzied rage, which is my favorite thing in the world to do. <laughs> of course so it is. I had a lot of highlights. It was good. But I, I liked the exchange with the Emperor. Like, yeah. He pushed, you mean he the, pushed uh, the, king? the king. He pushed Borinth. And you don't push Borinth. 
Don't tell Boris what to do. Nobody he told Boris to go. He told Boris what to do. He said, go Boris. get Simonita, and you don't tell Boris what to do. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> cool. 1450 on experience. You. Thank you for the log. Thank you for the hook. Oh. And you're eighth level, correct? You're one level below the highest yeah. level character. Would you say 14? 1450. Sir. My uh, Jumnus, Brad, what was your highlight? Um, I don't know, we had a lot of fun in general. Like, there was a lot of good RP moments. Uh, there were. With Borinth, uh, Mattias teaching, teaching Jumnus how to uh, use a sword. I think it's kind of cool. Um, and then uh, we're killing a king, maybe. Or we killed a king. <laughs> you killed a king. Or at least he's, he's down. We are not taking <laughs> our eyes off of him. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're taking your, his eyes out of him. Yes. Yeah. That'll be the first thing I hear. So, uh-huh. That was cool. I hope that we, that we don't end up fighting King Charles at this rate. They're all going well, down. Don't count it out. <laughs> They're going to have to stop calling as themselves long, kings. Well, as long as King Charles Mattias. isn't a jerk to us, you know, he can live. Mattias, the boy is now the king. Yeah, He's he, in the room with us. We brought him there safely. He's, he's now the king. He's cool king. I so maybe. all we have to do is just show him, everybody, that the king is dead, and now they're gonna listen to what the boy says. Yeah, and he's the king. We just hey kid, we just yeah. killed your new and guy. And I was really <laughs> nice to him. For if you realize the danger a ten-year-old boy is in in this situation. Yes, we got him. We got That's him why covered. Gorp is here. He, he, he swore. That's why Gorp is here. Gorp is yes. going to be the hand of the king. Gorp is going to be the hand of the king. Gorp this is, is going to have a great legacy in this game. Actually, that's you can come cool. back now, and you can, yeah. And he's the witness that he was yeah. aired. Yeah. There you aired. go. Pretty cool. Yeah. All the guards were, too. Yeah. Well, they well they're not going to be. Back to the the no, they kind of do. No, because the king could call them off. That's true. Your king is dead. This oh, is your new is dead. king. This well, is your new you king. You guys got to drive the king's body in here. Yes. The king is dead. Long live the king. No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to kill that man. Bless, Bless you. Man. The king yeah, was brutally murdered. Long live the new king who was put in place by said murderers. Okay. I give you experience, correct? No. No, I didn't. 1,400 on experience. Sorry. You're still ninth level. Thank you for the log. Thank you for the hooks. Appreciate it. Sure. Well, Mark, have to what was your highlight? Too. Yeah, um, I got a cool little trinket in my eye socket um, that I'm trying to figure out, it's and I got trinket. two natural 20s <laughs> and took out the Emperor. Yeah. Yes. That was pretty awesome. Was pretty awesome. wicked. Is that your first kill? No. no. <laughs> it's, it's just, that's his third kill. <laughs> third okay. kill. Get it right. <laughs> third. But Gorp has killed his first faster than I could. Yeah. By about eight sessions. <laughs> I, think he's, I think you guys have actually killed the exact same amount of people. Yeah, I think so too. In this game. Yeah, yeah pretty much. I killed a lot of other people. This, oh, yeah. In this campaign. Well, let's not talk about that. Ah, right. <laughs> Streams down. <laughs> Streams down. Okay. Uh, and you're still seventh level, correct? Yes, sir. Thank you for the hook. Thank you for the log. Great information in those guys. Appreciate it. Um, 1,900 on experience, Mark. Ryan, uh, what was your highlight? Highlight was punching a king in the face and saving a... Uh, Saving a child from him. I was I was trying to role play it earlier, but I didn't really get a chance to. But it was like it was kind of how this is kind of how Balder feels about it. Is the sense that he didn't want to bring the child there at all because he doesn't care about the politics of kings. He doesn't care about any of that, and he knows he's bringing him to someone who he shouldn't be with. So punching him in the face was very good for him. Very cool. <laughs> very cool. And you're still uh, eighth level, correct? Yeah. 1250 on experience. Mm. Awesome. Uh, did you have a good time, Mike? Thank you for joining us. I know experience doesn't mean anything to you, but I'll keep track of it for Gorp, but he would have gotten the equivalent of, because he's sixth level as opposed to everybody else, he would have gotten the equivalent of 1750 on experience. He probably is close to seventh level. Please come back and play Thank with us. Thank, I hope Please, you yeah. can. I hope you had a yeah. good time. We're I appreciate it. the legacy of Gorp going. <laughs> Gorp, the hands of the game. Gorp has been in gaming for how many years? On and off? 
1980. Ah, we're gonna make it ourselves sound old. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you for watching. Seven Sided it, Dies. Maybe even Carp like 77. <laughs> Carpathian Adventure. <laughs> we would like to thank Sirenscape for the use of their audio the sound effects. That's www.syrinscape.com. Thank you, artist Yenu and Silky Noir, for their terrific character art. Please patronize them via the at symbol yeah. Yenu Draws on Instagram, at symbol Yenu on Tumblr and Twitter, and patronize Silky Noir on DeviantArt. Please comment in the Twitch chat room on Instagram, on Facebook, and on YouTube. While we do this strictly for fun, please let us know how we might improve our stream besides the technical issues. We will upload, if you're seeing this part, it's because you saw the uploaded version and or just improved. Lastly, like us on Facebook and YouTube. For now, thank you for watching. Roll a seven-sided die and have a good night. Yeah! Woo! All right, we killed stuff.